Yo, I'm gonna be right there. I need to go grab some water. I'll be right back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, fuckers. Good morning. Hello, welcome by Vigis. Hi, Winter. Hi, Professor Mysterio. Hi, DMX. Hi, Woody Fox. Hi, Sisa. Hi, Raz. Welcome by. You just started my clip on this. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking go, Vish. Let's fucking go. Hi, Bags. Good morning. Hi, something about bread. Hi, Rewind. Hi, Doctor. Good morning. Good morning, fuckers. Good morning. Good morning. Wah, 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 wah. Hi, Dolby. Hi, DMX. Hi, Wife Lover. Hi, Hyper. Hi, Richard Fuss. Hi, Will. Hi, Karis. Hi, Lua. Hi, Jungle. Hi, DJ. Hi, Octavian. Hi, Dion. Hi, Zach. Hi, Pyro. Hi, Potato Lord. Hi, Nier. Hi, Nala. Hi, Octavian. Hi, L. Welcome by. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much. Hi, Jumbo. Hi, Kua. Hi, Twile. Welcome by. Hi, Ma. Good morning. Hi, Decoy. Hi, Pana. Hi, Jack. Good morning, guys. I miss y'all so much over the past two days. I'm so sorry that I was gone. I had a lot of shit going on. I had to take care of. Hi, Akara. Hello. Hi, Nightmare. Good morning. Hi, Long Beach. Good morning. Hi, Primus. Again, hi, Katie. Welcome by. Hello. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much. I miss you guys. Guess who missed you? It was me. I'm a lonely beach. I'm a lonely parasocial beach, okay? I'm a lonely parasocial beach. I miss you. Andy! Morning, you stinker. Thank you so much for three months. Hi, Dan. Hi, Ryan. I miss I pick up. Oh, God. Everything's freezing up. Hello! Hi everyone! Good morning! I miss you Thank you! Hi OG Tico! Goodbye! Hello! I miss you guys! Hello! 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 We're being parasocial right now! You're my homies! You're my homies! My homies! My homies! Hi Mini Pro! Hi Cowboy! Welcome by! Hello! Good morning! 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 You got for two days? I didn't strip for two days, Beesh! I didn't strip for two days! Hi Rike! Welcome by! Thank you for being here! Hello! 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 I'm a year older! Hey! Let's go! Happy late birthday! It was today's your birthday. It might be. You might tongue glitches sometimes. Hi! 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 I have zero plans today. Hi, Stitch. Oh, goodbye. It's okay. It's okay. I just appreciate you dropping by. I just appreciate you dropping by. Hi, Rocket. Hi, Hawkeye. Welcome by. Hi, Nay. Hi, Cal. Hi, Marty. So, goodbye. Thank you for being here. You want to wah, 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 wah. Hi, Bella Fonte. Welcome by. Hello. 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 Hi, Nelly. Welcome by. Hi, Tyrese. Hello. Hi, Z. Hello. Good morning, Check. Good morning. Hi, Skilly. Welcome by. Welcome by. Hi, H. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. Yeah. 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 So it's been three months Thank already. Thank you for Let's three go. months. Thank you. It's okay, Marty. I just appreciate you dropping by. Hi, Reckless. Hi, Lyles. Welcome by. I'm excited for no good reason. Let's go. I'm the Negan. Welcome by. Hi. Hello, chat. Hello. Hi, Code Star. Welcome by. Hi. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hi, Seneca. Hi, Oz. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I gotta drink some of my water. Yum, 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 Hi, wait, good morning. I want to become a Pana. Thank you so much for two gift subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Good morning. 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 Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Funny. Thank you so much for the gift subs. You're so sweet. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi, zombie. I'm a sleepy pink cat. I just woke up. That's okay. Hi, Neko. 
I know there's no birthday tax, but I'm paying it anyway. There's no tax! Thank you, though. Thank you. Hi, Gyro. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. Hello. Happy weekend. Happy weekend! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hi, Zaron. You're stuck with me. Like, oh, I'm so gross. Like, oh, wait, thank you so much for the prime stuff. Feeling better? I am feeling better. I am feeling better. I needed a day off on Wednesday because I was like, ooh, I don't feel good. And then, like, uh, no, I know. I need a day off on Thursday because I was like, ooh, I don't feel so great. And then on Friday, I already had scheduled the day off because my mom came over. But yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Hi, Dexter. Welcome by. Hello, Goofy. Welcome by. Good morning, chat. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Shadow Bryce. Hello. Hi, something about Hello. Hi. Okay, I... monthly sub renewal tax There's check. no tax rewind! I just appreciate you being here. <gasps> Last lasagna. You're looking mighty delicious, lasagna. I'm have a problem. You're looking mighty delicious, lasagna. Let's go. L3. There's no Kenobi! There's no Kenobi! I have a pure welcome by. Hello, L3, thank you so much. Hello, hi. I have a pure also welcome by. Someone say tax. There's no tax! Text does not exist. Hi, Rose Gold. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I miss you guys. Guys, so much has happened, but I also am sitting here being like, I don't even know where to start talking about it. Hi. It's been like two days. I've missed you. I really missed you. I've missed you guys a lot. Like, literally, I was like wanting to go live a little bit last night. Hi, Pyro. Hi. Is it tax time? No! No! Hi, CMC. Welcome by. We miss you. I miss you! Hi, Samurai. You wanna wah 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 There you go, Karis. Hi, Dikoi. Hi. 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 I think someone indeed said taxes. No, no tax! I'm Natalie. Hi, Nader. Welcome by. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Bye-bye. 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 Hi, Random Man. What's up? Welcome by. What's happening? I'm just greeting everybody. Hi, Yuki. Welcome by. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. Also, Random Man. What's up? Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Pay the money tax. Guys, there's no money tax. I missed you guys. I miss you. I'm so sleepy right now, Decoy. I'm actually sleepy. Listen, I just fake it till I make it. I just sit there and I'm like, I'm just going to blab away until I get the energy that I'm pretending to have. Hi, Cracky. Hi, Jin. Welcome by. Hi, Fletchy. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Hello. You're Hello. Stuck with me now. Where is me? For the tax. There's no tax! Thank you so much. Hi, Jimmy Jams. Jimmy Jams, I love your name. Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Jam. Hi, Barracuda. Good morning. Welcome by. Bye, Lua. Thank you so much for dropping by. Guys, I don't care if you can stay for 10 minutes. I don't care if you can stay for 5 hours. I just appreciate that you guys drop by at all. It means the world to me. Thank you. There's no cheese tax. Well, maybe there is cheese tax, actually. Hi, Soggy Cheese Cut. Hi, Ordain. Welcome by. I'm glad to get to watch you today. I'm glad to. Hi, Bummy. Welcome by. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Blaster. Hi, Sunrunner. Hi, Jason. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. Hello. Hi. Bruh. You gonna try your beer for the whole stream? Yay! Hi, PP Inspector. Welcome by. Welcome by. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. I shall pay the imagery tax. Also. There's none of that. No, 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 no,
Oi! Meow. 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 Oi! Oi! Hi, Sammy. Well, goodbye. Hi, Club. Well, goodbye. Hello, hello. I don't want to fight you. I lost, so I'm good. Yes, it's right. I'm so powerful. Hi, Kona. So, goodbye. Good morning. Good morning, chat. Good morning. I'm excited to hang out with you guys today. Ba -bi ba ba da ba na 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 ba 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 bi bi ba 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 bi bi ba. I want to fight. No. I'm the best. I'm the best. Oi. Oi. I'm the best at oi, okay? I'm the best at oi, chat, okay? We're not gonna fight today, because I don't want to embarrass you with my giant muscles and my hair and... You're talking mad shit for someone's three pineapples tall. Listen! It's at least three and a half, bitch. Fuck you. Hello, welcome by. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing today? Just got out of bed at 4 p.m. Hey, let's go, pug. Hey, hey. Hey. Hi from Stone, oh, goodbye, thank you. Hi, hello, hi Shepard, oh, goodbye, hi Oblivious, good morning. Hello, chat, listen here, you fuckers, listen here. Guess what, guess what? Hi, Ash, bro, oh, goodbye. Chat, I'm gonna tell you something this morning. Are you ready for it? Hi, Appy, oh, goodbye. Hi, Cerno. Okay, chat, no matter what you look like, no matter what you've accomplished in your life, I'm proud of you. For just getting out of bed today. If you've had, you haven't even gotten out of bed, guess what, bitch? I'm proud of you for just doing what you can today. Okay, fuckers? Okay. Fuck you. Hi, Danny. Welcome by. I'm proud of you, bitch. Hi, Grim. I'm proud of you for trying. And if you didn't try today, you can do it tomorrow. I believe in you. Hi, Dark. You can do it tomorrow. I'm still in bed. I just woke up. That's perfectly fine. You're gonna get started soon. I feel it. I feel it. I can feel it. You're gonna get started soon. You're gonna get started soon. Hi, life love. Oh, goodbye. Hello. Hi, Dora. You look comfy. I've been up for three days straight now. Brimstone, please get some fucking sleep if you can. Brimstone, listen here. Get some sleep if you can. But yes, chat, listen. Listen here. Fuck you guys. Please take care of yourselves. I care about you. I want you to take care of yourselves. Hi, Elisa. Well, goodbye. No, don't worry about it. You're not late. We, were, we haven't even been 15 minutes of the stream yet. You're not late at all. Listen, take care of yourselves. I want you to. I want you to take care of yourselves. And I want, and listen, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting here proud of you for just existing. Because existing is hard, okay? Yeah. Existing is hard and you're doing it and I'm proud of you. Fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Running on three hours of sleep. Oh, DMX, you foolish fool. Everything is a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot to just exist, bro. I refuse to take care out of spite. Graham! No crayons for you! Until you promise to take care of yourself. Da ba be ba. I do a goodbye. Hello. Good morning. Bruh. The first part of the day. I was sitting here. I didn't want to say anything out loud. But like we almost made it 15 minutes of the stream without somebody farting. You did it like 14 minutes, 58 seconds for my time. I was so proud. I wasn't gonna say a word. I was gonna see how long we go without somebody farting. God. God fucking damn it. I thought that we would actually make it 15 fucking minutes into a stream. Finally. Without somebody fucking shitting their pants. No. Somebody had to do it. It's okay. I understand. Hi, Matt. Well, goodbye. Hi, Ryder. Just start. Well, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hello, decoy. Thank you for the fart, I guess. Hello. Well, goodbye. Uh, excuse me, I'm so gross. I'm disgusting. I'm disgusting. Hello, everyone. Good morning. You want to wah, 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 wah? By the way, guys, I'm finally sitting down soon and gonna be figuring out uh, the tournament stuff soon. Hi, okay, welcome by. I'm gonna finally be figuring out the tournament stuff soon. I've started fi inviting a few people. Hi, Jagged Overlord. I've started inviting a few people. The tournament is on uh, the 19th of Burrix. I think it's, I think it's. I think it's the 19th. Let me double check. Let me double check. The tournament's on the 19th. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. We're trying to get a sponsor for it so that there could be prizes. There could be prizes for uh for for the people who participate. There could be prizes for people to Bruh! Bruh. 
Why am I angry? There can be prizes for the people that participate. Yeah, oh, May 19th, 3.30 PST. Hi, welcome by everyone. Hi, hi Lux, welcome by. Thank you for being here. Hi Fana, welcome by. Hi Test Subject. Hi. Hi Blushy, welcome by. Thank you for being here, bees. Thank you. Can fart sponsor it? Are you guys gonna do so many farts Bruh. I can sponsor it myself? Bruh. Exactly. Hi Big Banana, thank you so much. Hi Nick, no, hi Seth, welcome by. Thank you. Hi SSG, welcome by. Hi Ultimate Cell, thank you for being here, bees. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shop for prizes for not farting. Ooh, what prize would you guys want for not farting? Hi, Nut Frog, goodbye. Hi, okay, let me put the pink color. What prize would you want by never not farting? Hi, Side Cross. Are you guys gonna give me enough fart money that I'm gonna be able to sponsor a tournament on by myself? Like, listen, that'd be a lot. Bro. I was joking. I was joking. Hi, I'm Define. Welcome by. Hi, Nana. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jacob. Welcome by. She's trying to bribe a shot. No! I would never. How much would it cost to make you guys not fart? How much would it cost to make you not fart? What do you guys want to not fart? What do you guys want to not fart? Tell me. Tell me. Hi, birthday. It's not my birthday. One million? Five cents. Accept it. I'll give you five cents, boy. <laughs> ah! You just shat your pants. Uh, you just sat. You, 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 you just sat there, made a dookie, and then grinned at me like a child. Hi, Mr. Cruz, and welcome by. God, your poor pants chat. Your poor pants will never recover after all this shit, bruh. Bruh. Good morning, chat. Good morning. Hello, chat. Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, Ordain. Welcome by. Hello. Guys. Guys. Listen here. Listen here, you fuckers. Listen here. Even if you shit your pants, you're still a person, and I suppose that you deserve to be treated nicely, so I'll say something nice to you. Chat. You're pretty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Crush. Hi, Big Cat. Well, goodbye. Thank you for being here. You think I'm going to wear any? It's the weekend. Uh, to be fair, I'm just in a sweater and, like, literally undies right now, so I feel you. I should be doing uni work right now, but I don't want to. Can you give me a moment and show Moody speech? <coughs> <coughs> ah! That's not the motivation of Moody speech! Who fucking did the juggles? Okay. Okay, we're gonna actually give you that speech now. <laughs> Nobody clip that. Okay. Hi, Tori. Welcome, bye. Listen here, you motherfuckers. You got things you need to do in your life. It's hard, I know. Hello, Luna. Hi, Skylar. Welcome, bro. <laughs> Matt. Okay, listen here, you motherfuckers. Listen here. You got things you need to do in your life. I know you do. Listen, I got things I need to do in my life, too. Listen, if you promise me. Look me in the eyes, chat. Look me in the eyes. If you promise me that you'll get that shit done, listen here. I'll get the shit done that I need to get done too. We can both promise each other that we're gonna get the shit done that we need to get done, okay? We're gonna get the stuff done. I didn't know you needed to do that that badly, chat. Did you need to fart that badly? Anyways, I know you got stuff you need to get done, chat. I got stuff I need to get done, too. Listen, you get your stuff done, I'll get my stuff done. We both promise each other. We got this, boys. We got this. That's right, boys. That's right. Listen here. Listen here, you motherfucks. We can do this together. Hi, Commander. Welcome by. You defeated two bosses, Elrey is a noob. Congratulations. Hi, Deception. Welcome by. Listen, here's the thing about Elrey bosses. Once you kind of sit there and you kind of memorize their attack patterns, it gets easier. Okay, I have hugs first. Okay, fine. One hug. And then you gotta go do it. I don't think I'm gonna fart that much. So I'll leave that to you. Your university project is farting pots? I like the university. Can I sign up? I want to sign up now. I want to sign up for your university. Farts University, let's go. Farts University, project on farts. What is a fart? I don't even know, man. I'm gonna find out. Hi, by the post. Welcome by. Hello, welcome by. Sign me up, bitch. Let's go study some fucking farting. Let's go. Hi, Ricky. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. Hello. Hi. Good morning, chat. Good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Abby, B, B, B. The art of farts. Hello, chat. Let me give my presentation on farts right now. Hello. Hi. Thanks for the clip, you stinker. I 
am sticky. I don't know what I did though. Hi, Taki. Hi, welcome by. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, young mama. Oh! I not crawl that so goodbye. Be more moony. A hug can and will become a suplex. I will suplex you, bitch. You want me? Yeah. Hi, Parrot. You need to mow the lawn. I need to do a lot of things. Hi, chat. I'm so goodbye. I think it's you. I think Hello, chat. I'm going to give you my presentation on the art of farts. Um, hello. My name's Mooney. Uh, please, everyone say hi, Mooney. Hi, Pot. So goodbye. Listen, please, everyone say hi, Mooney. Hi, Mooney. Okay, guys. I have a problem with farting. I can't stop, bro. My butthole, it just sometimes just lets out a lot of farting. And it happens, and it just keeps on happening. And you just sit there, and you go, why can't I stop? This is the art of the fart. Okay, Dr. Dr. Fartenstein. I'm really mad. I'm not the one that thought of that one now. Bottle it, become rich. Bottle your farts and become rich, bitch. Hello. There are no farts without the arts. Let's go! Chad, giga Chad, giga Chad. Hi, Sam, look goodbye. I'm surprised the Moonie is farting so much and not burping much. I don't have to burp right now. Hi, Space Out. Oh, goodbye. Hello. Hi, chat. Hello. 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 Poony. Poony. Hi, girls. Oh. Happy. Oh, goodbye. Hello. Hi. The real question is this. Is it a fart or is it a butt burp? Farts are considered masterpiece. Ah, I get it. I get it. Hi, Ozzy. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. I get it. I understand. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Shane. Good morning. Hello. Oh, you guys can share clips in my Discord server. I have a channel made just for that, for sharing clips so you guys clip of my streams and stuff. You're so damn cute, you can fart in a museum of natural history put on display. Bro, I'm cute! I have somehow done the inevitable. Been so disgusting that apparently the chat, it wrapped back around to cute. I'm, a, I'm, I'm amazing. Hi, Skyrider. Welcome by. Thank you for being high rated. Hi, Sly. Hello. You said ass, you didn't want to read your message, making dumb step with your ass. Yes! Dumb step with ass. Hi, mate. Welcome by. Your voice be cute. Fuck you, bitch. I give you middle finger. I give you middle finger. So, okay, I'll show up by your castle football field. Let's go! And this far project will kill it too. All right, let's go, evil crash. Let's go. Bye, 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 Hi. Hi, Coco. Welcome by. Hello, hello, hello. You look so good. Thank you. It's a toga hoodie. It's a toga hoodie. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Chat, 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 you got over your wave of mini sickness. I think I just had anxiety, and then I threw up because I had anxiety. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It happens. Pokemon does like when we're gonna restart that soon. Maybe tomorrow, or maybe on Monday. I'm not 100 percent sure actually. Maybe Monday. Maybe we might do it Monday. Maybe we might do it Monday. I think we'll probably play some more Elden Ring tomorrow. Actually, I flew up. I flew up. How's Kat doing? Kat is doing okay. She just took her medicine and then she's really angry about it, but that sounds about right. Dude, my cat gets so angry when I give her the medicine. My cat gets so angry. Angry, angry girl. When you get Thank you, Slar! Hi, Bubba Star Guys! Hi, Camel. Guys, I legitimately. <laughs> my mom came over and helped me yesterday. My mom came over and helped me yesterday with like uh with throwing away a lot of stuff. We got through, like, my living room and some other places. Hi, Miles, and goodbye. We got through my living room and a few other places. We're gonna go through my actual room soon. Oh, no. I'm not a hoarder, chat. Uh, what I am is one step away from being a hoarder, okay? Um, hi, boy, well, goodbye. Hello. I, I am one step away from being a hoarder. But it's, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, 
most of the stuff I have, I'm not actually attached to. I'm like, I'm fine with throwing it away. I just like, I kind of just needed somebody to come over and be like, you don't need this. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I don't need this. And I just throw it away. Like literally my mom told me yesterday, she goes, you know, I thought you would have a harder time throwing this stuff away, but you're like, you sit there, you go, you, you like, I throw, I like hold up something and you, I go, I don't think you need this. And I go, yeah, you're right. I don't need it. Okay. Yeah. What is this stuff called then? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, actually having um, an emotional attachment to everything. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of stupid things in my place that I have an emotional attachment to. But, like, let's be 100. Most of it I don't care about as much as you think I would. Hi, Mr. Take Me Uncle Bye. Like, my mom was genuinely like, she's like, I thought we would have a heart. I thought there'd be, like, tears and stuff whenever I came over. Because, like, I used to sit there when I was a kid. I collect really, really dumb stuff. Hi, Elisa. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Like, uh, I would collect really dumb stuff, and so she sat there, and she was like, she was thinking that I was gonna start crying, because, like, she was sitting there thinking about when I was a kid, and I would cry anytime, that, like, uh, she would make me get rid of things that were just useless. Are you gonna play Elden Ring today? I don't know, Ozzy. I'm kind of just doing whatever the fuck I feel like today. We might end up just chatting for, like, three hours. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hi, Jellyfish. Welcome by. Hello, 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 hello. Should you collect yourself? Probably. Mom always sees a five-year-old. Yes, it's true. Bye, zombie afternoon. Have a good day. Have a good day. But no, my mom's been really, really helpful. She's been really, really helpful. It's been really nice. Yeah. Hi, Wilfred. Welcome by. Hello. Honestly, one of the biggest... I forgot what I was saying. Hi, Kaz. Welcome by. Fresh Light Gamer. Thank you for 100 bits. Wilfred, why? Oh, guys, listen. One of the biggest pieces of advice is I could give. It doesn't have to be your mom. Hello. Guess it's time, chat, to jump on throne and add to the list, Kek. <sighs> okay, so, actually, thank you, Fresh Slime. Listen, okay, actually, the whole reason I have too much stuff, like, don't get me wrong, I already had quite a bit of stuff before that. Just because, like, I like, I like trinkets. I like little trinkets. It makes me happy. I like collecting little trinkets. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, I didn't have as much stuff as I have right now until I first got thrown and I didn't understand it 100% and like literally I would just let me people make suggestions for random stuff. <laughs> Bruh. I let people make suggestions for random stuff and I would just sit there and let them like accept all of them and then just let people buy me whatever the fuck they put on there and literally I God, so, like, people were so generous. Hi, Magical Girl. Welcome by. People were so generous. But it was one of those things where I was sitting there and, like, I wouldn't even look at what people, like, put on the suggestions thing. I would just literally accept it all. And I would just sit there and just let them send me whatever the fuck they wanted. And it was so much weird stuff. But it was a lot of stuff where I'm like, maybe I could have a use for this. So I'd, like, put it away or, like, put it... And, like, at one point... Hi, Sapphire. At one point, I genuinely just had a pile of stuff built up next to the wall. And that's kind of what me and my mom went through is just a pile of stuff. Because, like, I didn't know what to do with any of it. It's one of those things where you feel like you're being wasteful if you just get rid of it because your chat... Or, like, well, your fans gave you this stuff. And you're sitting there being like, well, I don't want to get rid of it. I'll feel bad. But, like, my mom just sat me down and she goes, Mooney... You need, you need to, you need to sit there. You need to go through this stuff. Like you're not gonna use this stuff. You don't have, you don't have room for it. It's like you don't need this stuff. It's okay to throw it away. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I know we're donating a lot of it. To, we're donating a lot of it. Hi, Missy. You shouldn't jump up here. You might turn off my computer. Oh wait. Oh shit. Let me take it. Hello. Hello. Get a bigger house. Okay, that's yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Hi, Doctor Anime. Hi, Pasta. Welcome back. Mitzi is happy today. Mitzi's Mitzi's a happy girl today. Mitzi was so happy last night. Dude, my mom came over and people like kind of walked up to her at first and I guess he thought that like she was me because like he walked up to her like he meowed and then like he like sniffed her and then like he was like oh I don't want anything to do with you. And like, uh, Mitzi, anytime I was away from my mom doing something, Mitzi would be coming up to me and be like, Hi, please snuggle with me. Because like, anytime my mom was around me, like, she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ah! 
like it, hot name is looking like good morning. Why are you guys farting like that? Why are you guys farting like that? Go store open soon, go shopping. Have a good one, Sunrun. You probably have like 10 foot pile of hoodies. Not quite. Um, maybe like almost one foot high of blankets right now because I gotta go through them and put them on the laundry machine. Like next time I take a break, I'm probably gonna go do another load of laundry, honestly. Uh, yeah. Hi, Eros. Welcome by. Thank you for being here. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. See you in this fart day. Dude, you guys do show your love through farts. Your love language is just shitting and farting. That's your love language, chat. That's your love language. What's up? My hat's too many. Give me your hat! Give it! Hi, Andrea. Welcome by. I was like, I thought you meant a fan of convention. Like, oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Why are you guys suggesting gifts on throne? What did you suggest? If I open this... And it's something dumb. I'm going to yell. If I open this, hi Lens, welcome back. If I open this and it is something dumb, I am going to scream and I'm going to shart, okay? A nothing stone to add to the pile. Ah! Hi BF, so goodbye. Hello, hi, good morning, good morning, hello. Hello. To add to the pile. Thank you! We just got rid of a big pile, bish! We just got rid of it! Bish! What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, you screaming isn't normal. Shut up. Shut up, bish. Shut up. You fuckers. You motherfuckers. Listen to me right now. Listen to me right now, bish. Listen to me. Hi, Anthony Morris. It's welcome back. Listen to me right now. We're all gonna fuck! At the ten, oh lord, well goodbye. Hi, Mr. Hawks. I actually used to collect rocks. Hi, I'm not an idiot, well goodbye. I actually used to collect rocks, funny enough. Listen, okay, so here's the thing. I collect a lot of weird stuff. Hi, cardboard, well goodbye. I collect a lot of weird stuff, okay? I collect a lot of weird stuff. I used to collect rocks and all this stuff, but like, I just, I just, like, I just, I just, it's really nice. It's really cool. You know, listen, the clan mates, the clash of like, clan. We're, we're about to fucking clan. We're bra! Hi, Supernova. Hi, Dark, well goodbye. Hi, Clan. You collect fossils? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Right there, money. I'm a fat beast. I have a lot of rocks. <gasps> I like rocks. You wanna what, 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 what? Guys, I genuinely went to a museum once, and they had like I think we were like uh, we were like we were like we were like uh, we were like uh, we went out of town and hello. Wait, was it a rock? I thought it was just a packet. Oh, I thought it was a rock. Hi, Nacho. Well, goodbye. Listen, I once went to like a museum that was out of town, and because like we were sitting there, we You're were like really really high. Now. I can't Six tell my months story. with the stinky smoke. Thank cat. you, Brad. Thank you, guys. I once went out of town and we went to a museum and like uh, I was really bored until we got to the rock exhibit and they were like showing off like rocks and stuff and I was genuinely so into it. I was genuinely so into it because I collected rocks at the time. I was like really into it. I was like very invested in all the rocks. I know that sounds really boring to you, but like I was sitting there full on invested, full on just sitting there being like, this is my interest. This is my special interest right now. I like rocks. I am interested. They have like crystallized rocks, rocks with crystals inside of them, just regular rocks. It was so exciting, bro. It was so exciting. Bro, I was like literally just like very excited, very excited. Hi, MC people, goodbye. Bro, rocks are awesome, Danny Rock Moon. Damn, you rock. Play chat, thank you. Lil Good Jay! morning, Moon's chat. Hi, Lil J. Also, Adora, you get a kiss too. Mwah. Oh, there you go. Hi, well, goodbye. Hello, well, well, goodbye. I collect rocks. Yes. Hi, Dion. Well, goodbye. Hello, hello. One day, Mooney will find a rock shape like Lightning McQueen. Dude, I could probably get, like, I could probably pay somebody to, like, carve a rock in the shape of Lightning McQueen. Geodes are so cool! Thank you, little shit. Thank you. I hope you're doing good. Thank you. You're good. Thank you, Anderson. Oh, uh, guys, all my friends stop by. It makes me so happy when I see friends stop by. Also, you guys are my homies. I buy rocks on eBay. Hey, let's go. Fuck, 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 fuck. Look up, Uber Light. Oh, shit. Like the rock content. I love geodes. Geodes are so cool. Actually, I think my special interest was like mostly geodes. Um, also, also, also. Also. Hi, Lillian. Welcome back. Also, I got really excited when um all those crystal girls got into crystals and stuff because like it meant that you could buy crystals at a cheaper price now like bigger crystals at a cheaper price than usual and like I, listen 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 
I don't know what I think about all that crystal stuff, but let me tell you right now. I just like rocks! I like shiny rock. I want shiny rock shaped in pretty ways. It's for me. It's for me. I like shiny rock. Give me the rock. I want shiny rock. The crystal girls have made it where I can get shiny rock for cheaper. I am happy. I get shiny rock for cheaper. We're happy. The crystal girls are happy. I am happy. I get rock. I like it. I like the shiny rock. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Gobble brain says click, click, shiny rock. Good. Yes. I like the shiny rock. Yes. We need to go get shiny rock. Exactly. Hi guys. Goodbye. Hello. I want shiny rock. Give me, give me. I want, I want. I actually have a few of those crystals. I don't really, I don't really sit there and like, I don't, listen, I'm never going to make fun of somebody for sitting there and like thinking something religious with rocks. I don't really have them for religious reasons. I just have them because I like them. They're shaped really cool and I really like them. I really like them a lot because they're shaped cool and they're pretty and they're mine. My shiny rock. They're for me. Some people shut. Okay, so. I was like, I was talking to one of those crystal girls once because I was trying to figure out a good place to get those rocks because I like collecting them sometimes. My mom's probably gonna try to make me throw away my rock collection. That's not happening. Uh, but th I was talking to one of those crystal girls one time and she talked about shoving it up her butt and I was like, cool. Anyways, I have it so I can put it on my shelf and it can look pretty. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, DX. I'll go by. Yeah, no, apparently she shoves it up her butt and I'm like, okay. That's cool. I just want mine to put on my shelf because I like rock. Hi, King. Look goodbye. No, I just want to put it on my rock. I just want to put it on my shelf. Like Superior. Oh, that's so cool. You collect arrowheads. I actually, I think I have collected one. Helps you poop better. I don't know, man. That thing would open up your butthole, though. That thing would open up your butthole. Listen, I just want them because I got rock on my shelf. I want rock on my shelf. I want rock. That's what I want. I want rock. Give me, give me, give me. I want rock for me. For me. I like it. My favorite shiny rock is rose quartz. What do you like the most? Um, the rose quartz ones are really pretty. I like the pink ones. Um, 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 I have a blue one that I really like. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I just, I don't, I'm gonna be 100 with you. I usually don't remember what their names of them. I think sometimes I label them what they are after getting them because I know that I would never, like, understand. I, I don't, I know I never understand which one is which one unless I label them. So I've labeled a few of them because I, I would forget which one is which. Uh, I like blue. I like green. I like pink. I like I like all the colors. I li I just like colors. Uh, colors are really pretty, and I like them. I have blue gold songs like Star Night. <gasps> Hi, Jess. Oh, goodbye. I like rocks a lot. Rocks are so much fun. Rocks are great. I love rocks. Why do we start talking about rocks? Uh, hi, Blue. You guys are so pretty. Thank you. Hi, Emotel. What's happening? We're talking about rocks and how I used to go to, like, I went to a museum once. And, like, I wasn't excited about it until because there was a rock collection there with, like, geodes and stuff in it. And then I got really excited because I could sit there and, like, I could look through all the rocks because that was my special edges at the time. And I still like rocks a lot. They're really cool. What's going on? We have power rock, power regions rocks out. Yes, Elsa. Yes, yes, yes. Labrador is really cool. I do collect rocks and minerals. Let's go, Nima. Let's go. No, like, listen, listen. Everything is just really cool. I'm very easily excited. I'm like, I'm very easily excitable. I just think everything's cool. Hi, Scorpion. Oh, goodbye. Rocks, you're saying yes. You got a really pretty piece of Labrador with blue flash about the size of my phone. <gasps> ah. Hi, Tony. Well, goodbye. I like rocks. So I'm also collect I'm focused on fossils. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Prefer rocks to Halloween rather than candy? I don't know. I also like candy. Candy is also good. That is also good. Yes. You have a pet rock? I need to get a pet rock, but I also really don't need it because I forget to feed him. Hi, GK. I guess I'm to blame because my throne gift idea lead us on to rocks. Yes. Kek. Candy rocks. I would like to eat candy rocks, yes, please. Hello, hello, hello. I like pop rocks for that reason. Pop rocks are really fun because they also like do that thing in your mouth. It does that in the highest of silicone vibe. It does that thing where it's like, like pop rocks. So you're just sitting there and like it's making popping noises in your mouth. It feels kind of cool. But it also apparently it's like an ASMR thing. Apparently, guys, I had the rock. I had the rock. Right. Goodbye. Guys, apparently, like, pop rocks are. <laughs> Pop rocks are apparently a fetish for some people, and I wish I could go back in time to when I did not know that. Because everything that I think is cool, it turns out is a fetish, and I'm sitting there being like, bruh, why? No, we're not gonna say you. We're not gonna say you. We're not gonna shame nobody. We're never gonna shame anybody. It's just one of those things where I like, I, I it's a fresh kissing thing. 
ball. I don't get it. Hi, Sandwich Oka Bye. Dude. Hi. Hello. Hi, Faki. You got. Okay, talking about French kissing. Dude, when I was younger, like, uh, my very first boyfriend, my mom was, like, explaining what French kissing was. And, like, she didn't explain it well. She did not explain it well. She explained it, like, she explained it, like, the way she explained it was, she goes, they put your tongue in your throat. And I was like, that sounds horrifying. And, of course, like, I was very, I was, like, very innocent, okay? I was very innocent. Like, literally, my mom goes, they, they put your tongue in your throat. And I'm like, nope, that sounds horrible. I don't ever want to do that. I don't ever want to do that. And, like, I was old enough to be kissing and stuff like that. But, like, I was like, I don't ever want to do that. No, thank you. And so my boyfriend, he starts kissing me at one point and like he like licked my lips and I'm like, no! And he goes, he's like, what, what's wrong? And I'm like, nope, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for that at all. Um, I don't want that. Thank you. I appreciate the thought that you think I want that, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. That sounds horrifying. And he's just, he's a little bit confused, but he's very nice. He's like, okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. We can wait. And so I walk back inside and my mom, my mom goes, my mom goes, so did he try to French kiss you? And I said, he tried, but I didn't let him. And like, and then my mom just like, was like looking at me and she goes, what do you mean you didn't let him like he tried to stick his tongue down my throat and i was like uh-uh not gonna happen and my mom realized my mom realized what i was thinking that he was actually gonna stick his tongue down my throat and like and my mom goes honey no no anyways that's the story of how i fridge like my very first like what a, like that's the story of fridge kissing i was very scared for my life Beesh. hi toros so goodbye you have a great mom my mom's cool i listen i didn't understand it all i knew was is that i was scared for my life i was like how would you breathe hi hot so well, goodbye I was scary. Your mom taught you the dumbest way possible. My mom didn't realize I would take it so literally. I think if I, 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 yeah, like through your nose. Okay, but listen, it sounded horrifying. My mom didn't. My mom didn't think I'd take it so literally. My mom just was kind of like joking around with me. She's like, yeah, I just sticks your tongue. Like she was laughing when she said it, bro. She was laughing when she said it. She's like, yeah, he just sticks his like when you fridge kiss, he just sticks your tongue down your throat. And I'm like, that sounds horrifying. I don't want that. No, thank you. No, thank you. Also. When my mom first explained sex to me, I literally looked at her and I'm like, I never want to do that. Never. Literally everything my mom ever explained to me about anything to do with like romance and stuff, I'm like, no. No, thank you. Hi, Samara. Well, goodbye. Everything was horrifying to me. Everything was horrifying to me. Every single thing was horrifying to me. I didn't want any of it. I was like, no, I'm good, bruh. No, thank you. I'm good. I don't want any of it. Hi, Mini Gunner. Well, goodbye. I'm like, it's all sitting there. I love how moms realize they messed up and blame it on you. Well, here's the thing. My mom didn't blame it on me. She just started laughing when, like, whenever, like, we sat there and, like, she was, like, having, like, we were having that moment where she's like, She's like, honey, that's not what I meant, honey. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. When you please ever see told, no, I just, hi, the R dragon. Let, I'll say it like this. I'll say it like this. Uh, Amelia Bedelia, the book, if you guys ever read it, it was like, it was like a really old book or something that was like in my classroom when I was younger. For some reason, I very much, like, I, I understood her. I got it. Because I would take things very literally. I would take things very literally. Yeah, no, like, we had, like, really old books. And Amelia Bedilli was one of them. And I remember really liking it. Because, uh, because, because I, like, understood. I got it. I understood. Because I would take things very literally. I would, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Talking about having the talk. Bruh bruh literally the very first time i was hi nickel goodbye literally the very first time i was ever the very first time i was ever taught about sex like literally one of my friends took me aside we were outside in my backyard and she goes do you know what sex is i'm like no what the fuck is that and she goes like of course i didn't say fuck and she goes i'm gonna show you and so she took a stick and she made a hole with her hand and she goes, this is what it is. She's stick that stick inside it out! And she just goes, this is what sex is! And I'm like... And I was like... And like, 
my mom came out and she goes, what's going on? And I'm like, mom, I don't ever want to have sex. And my mom starts like, my mom goes, what did you tell her? What did you tell her? And my friend's like over there just like still doing the stick thing. And I'm sitting there starting to cry. Like I'm literally sitting there. I'm like, ah! Like I'm literally sitting there just crying while my friend's like sticking the stick in and out of the hole. And my mom is just sitting there being like, oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, I was really sitting there being like, Aah! yeah, I'd be pissing myself laughing. No, like, and like, the worst part was, is I was like four, 13 or 14. <laughs> I showed a welcome back. I remember being in middle school. I still didn't know what sex was because I just didn't want to know. Every time that they would try to have the talk with me, I'd be like, I don't want to know. They would start having the talk with me and I would literally say, I'm not interested. I don't care. <laughs> ah! Thank you, tomorrow. I would literally sit there and be like, I don't want to know. I don't care. Hi, Silas. Welcome back. I was like, I don't want to know. I don't care. I don't want to know. I don't want to know it. So it was like really hard for my parents to have the talk with me. You didn't know what it was a middle school. No, Nacho, I did it. Hi, Deep Dab. Welcome by. Listen, I don't know how they knew what it was. It's one of those, I'm curious I got into VA. It was a really long story. Literally, I was just like doing like comic jobs with friends. And this guy, like, uh, I guess he saw my comic subs with friends, and like, he like, uh, he like, he like, he hit up, cause like, I had, I would, uh, I would also have a casting call club thing, which is like a little, it's like a, unprof it's like, not a professional VA site, but it's kind of like, just one where anybody could post about stuff, and like, sometimes I would apply to do like, uh, comic dubs for stuff like that, you know, blah, 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 hi, Raven, yeah, and then this guy hit me up, and he goes, hey, you have a really pretty voice, um, would you like to voice sexy phone lines, and I'm like, oh, shit, um, not really, and he goes, I'll pay you money, and I'm like, I do like money. Money is nice. Money is nice. And yeah, that's how I got into voice acting. But yes. Hi, how have I haven't yet? Thank you for being here. I was casting on Club 2. Dude, that's a cool site. I really like it. But no, like, literally, I didn't, in middle school, for the most part, I didn't know what sex was. And I don't know why nobody told me. Hi, zombie. I don't know. I don't know how I got away without knowing what it was. Because I genuinely remember that sometimes people would, like, try to tell me. Actually, I do remember. I do remember what happened. Sometimes people would try to tell me what it was. Because they thought it was funny that I didn't know what it was. But then, like, other other middle schoolers would be like do not say anything to her and i'd be sitting there be like say what i don't understand and like literally they would be like there were some people that would just like went out of their way to like protect my innocence and stuff like that so that's actually probably how i got through middle school without really knowing what sex was mm -hmm. there were some people who thought it was cool that i didn't know what it was and they were like we want to protect you but yeah i remember that um i remember that <laughs> i remember one time we went on a school trip and we went to this thing, and for some reason, like, one of the boy, one boy and one girl were off alone in, like, this place together. And somebody goes, oh, you know what they're doing? And I'm like, yeah, they're kissing. <laughs> and I remember it so clearly that the guy turned and looked at me and he goes, yeah, yeah, they're kissing. Yeah. Hi, Edon, welcome back. <laughs> this background gives a lot of context about how you are now. Hi, <laughs> Wigbola, welcome back. And he just like, he didn't want to like correct me. And I was You're like, oh, hi now. friend, I'll goodbye, hello. Four months, eh? I can't always catch hi. stream. It's but okay. when I do, I, I delight in your chaotic, I high energy vibes. You. Hope you're having a wonderful day today and are feeling well rested less than three. Thank you. No, but it's like one of those things where it's like, I didn't know anything about that stuff. I was never really that like, it, I was never really that interested in any of that stuff either. Not really, like, especially when I was younger, I was like, I'm not really interested in any of this stuff. Like the only interest I really had was like when I was a little bit older, when it was like something it's like, I'm not allowed to do this. And it's like, you only get interested in some things because you're not allowed to do it. You know what I'm saying? You only get interested in some shit cause you're not allowed to do it. And that's the only reason I would have some interest in it. I would be like, huh, okay. I Hi, hi, technical. Goodbye. Good morning. But yeah, it's like, bro, literally, the worst thing to do to a teenager, someone who's like, like getting out of being a teenager, or even like before they're a teenager, is to like make something off limits because you're sitting there making something off limits. That's the only reason you're gonna sit there and be interested in it. Honestly, honestly. Hi, right, right. Welcome by. Hello. 
You're my favorite VTuber. Thank you for letting me get through it. We're gonna pressure. I, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. When we play Fall Guys again, I have no idea, man. I have no idea, Beach. You have to explain why it's off limits. Yeah, kinda. It's one of those things where it's like, if you make something off limits, it's like you're gonna be more interested in it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hi the Avatar, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, good morning. We're explaining why I'm a little bit fucked up in the head. Yes. Hi, good morning, chat. The forbidden fruit effect. Exactly, it's a forbidden fruit effect. Mm. It's the forbidden fruit effect. You sit there, you make something off limits. That's the rationale behind legalizing weed in the US, but I think it's having the opposite effect. Nick, here's one of the things that I think. Hi, Mimi. Here's one of the things that I think. I think that, for the most part, weed is a semi-harmless drug. It's one of those things where it's like, I've never tried it. I've never tried it. But, I, I think alcohol is more dangerous than weed is. I feel like alcohol is way more dangerous than weed. Hi, Gorilla. Do you ever freak out like a cat when you get water nose? Yes. Hello, welcome by, thank you. Like, I'm not saying that people shouldn't drink alcohol. That's never what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not gonna ever tell people what to do or what they can't do with their lives. But it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like alcohol is so much more dangerous than weed. Like, so much more. Absolutely, absolutely. Hi. Morning. Six months with Mooney and chat. Yeah. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic day. It can be used medically as well. Exactly, it can be used medically. Yeah, yeah, it's been around for so much longer. That makes sense. That makes sense. A drunk driving is scary. It's bad. Please never drunk drive. Please, please, please. Listen, listen. Please make sure it is much more dangerous than. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yes, yes, yes. I've never tried weed before, though. I've never tried it. But like a lot of people don't realize how everyone has smoked, right? Yeah, pretty much. You even secondhand smoke. Yeah, everyone has smoked because everyone's pretty much secondhand smoked now. It's true, unfortunately. Please never drive on taxi on anything. Exactly. I didn't mean to use those comments. It's okay, Vanessa. Don't worry about it. You're just wasting your channel points, bitch. That's all. You're just wasting your channel points. Hello. I tried weed edibles once and made me eepy. I get eepy on everything. Dude, I have really bad anxiety. That's exactly why I've never tried weed. You want yeah? Yeah. I've actually had, I've had an opportunity several times to try weed, but I have really bad anxiety as is. And I've heard of some people getting panic attacks while on it. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Axie. Welcome by. Listen, it's one of those. What's your favorite number? Uh, uh, 49. I don't know. Hi, you and you, what, 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 I don't know why 49. That was the first one I thought of. 49. There you go. No, no, I, but, but yeah, I don't want to get a panic attack. I don't want to get a panic attack. Maybe I was better for that. I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm just sitting there like, I'm just sitting, minus thing. Nice. I, 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 it's one of those things where I've heard of people getting panic attacks. And so like, yeah, I, I don't really, I, I, also here's one of the things. I don't really like to fuck around with my body and stuff like that. Like, um, I actually don't drink that much. I think chat thinks I drink a lot because pretty much every single time I'm drunk, I'm on stream because I'm streaming. And so, like, the only time I really drink is when I'm, whenever I'm streaming occasionally. And, like, I have, uh, I've not even tried. I've not even, I've not even drank on stream in, like, a month or two, I don't think. Yeah. But, yeah, like, literally, I've never done weed. I've never done any of this stuff. I don't know. I've never touched it. I don't usually drink either. It's just, it's, it's, most drinks don't taste good. You drink a lot when you do, but you don't drink a lot in reality. Exactly. I drink a lot whenever I drink, but I don't drink often. Yes. Yes. I get it. Be, be. Uh, bu, 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 bu. You never drink, lol, but everyone thinks you do. It's hilarious. Yes! Everyone just assumes I'm a drunk, and I'm sitting there being like, We have alcoholism in my family. I don't need to be fucking around with that shit too much. I drink wine coolers. Eh! I don't know what that means. How do you drink a wine cooler? Like once a month? Yeah, maybe like once a month I drink, maybe. Yeah. I do love cocktails. Oh, fuck ye. Never drink or smoke. I'm almost 30. Hey! I prefer Dr. Pepper over drinking. And gamer subs. I like gamer subs too. Hello, Mooney. As long as you're in a safe place, we try to surround people with trust. I actually smoke because of my anxiety. Oh, that's awesome. Listen, if we can help your anxiety, fuck yeah, let's go. I just like, it's one of those things where I'm dealing with my anxiety pretty half decently. So it's one of those things where it's like, I don't, I don't want to just call, I don't want to fuck around with shit right now. Maybe if it gets worse, I'll fuck around with shit. Yeah. I saw my parents were like, hey, let's go, fuck, fuck. Did you guys know? Okay, you guys probably already know this. They used to say that smoking cigarettes was healthy. I was in shock when I heard that when I was a kid. I was in shock when I heard that. And it's like, no wonder so many adults smoke cigarettes. They were being told when they were kids, 
that like literally it was healthy for you like can you fucking imagine can you fucking imagine like it's one of those things where like people are like oh yeah vaping's okay for you and it's like i've like literally heard doctors talk about one of the i won't break i've heard doctors talk about hi red eye welcome back i've heard doctors talk about how like some like some they'll have like kids come in and like they'll be like they'll be like having all the same issues and like the same thing that they all do is vaping and it's like vaping's gonna be the next cigarette and i fucking know it it's gonna be the next cigarette even the ones without the stuff inside of them like they're like yeah even the ones without the stuff inside of them it's like that vaping is gonna be the next cigarette i fucking know it have a cigar little billy it's healthy for you yeah exactly maybe it's all bad too but not as bad as sick yeah it's one of those things where even if it's not as bad for you like do you still want to do it oh Hello. They used to allow drink driving. It's Crazy. insane! Hi, look at my. It's, it's insane! It's insane. Smoke while pregnant. It'll help with stress. Your baby's gonna turn out fucked! Hi, Dan. Look at my. Baby is great. If you're already smoking, help you quit. It's bad, but just not bad. Smoking. Listen, if it helps you quit cigarettes, that's fucking fantastic. Hi, Essie. Look at my. If it, help, if it can help you quit cigarettes, that's fucking fantastic. Hi, exec. Look at my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Beep, 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 ba. Beep, beep, ba. Ba, da, ba, da. Beep, 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 ba. They played it three years ago in cold turkey right before COVID. They got it. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I am feeling okay. Yes, that does explain all the Karens. Bro, like, I think adults are so upset because they were, like, around a lot of weird shit that was not good for you that we know now. I need you. Oh, goodbye. Cars used to have seatbelts and the few first ones that did strap you by the neck. Here's the thing, though, Supernova. Here's the thing, though. We actually, like, there's actually been a lot of talks about how, like, seatbelts actually aren't very safe for women though because like we have different body types we have different body types than men do so it's one of those things where it's like oftentimes it does the seatbelt still kind of goes around our neck a bit and that's why women usually get so much more hurt in car wrecks than men do hello if you want to quite just but the candy sticks we all use to buy and pretend it's yeah! a cigarette tip. get this candy sticks yeah no it's actually genuinely an issue it's genuinely an issue they modeled they modeled crash test dummies after men and like that's 100 awesome it's great to use the crash test dummies but it's one of those things where it is also a conundrum too it's a big conundrum because it's like if you model crash test dummies after women how are you gonna make how are you gonna make the uh how are you gonna make the uh the adjustments how are people gonna make adjustments it's like how are you gonna make adjustments in a car it's gonna be very expensive it's gonna be something that's hard to do also can it be safe when you can sit there and like uh can you be safe and sit there when you can like move it around a lot and stuff like that it's really hard hi elbry hi hi rogue shadow look up thank you for being here it's one of those things it's really hard but yeah there's a reason that women are more likely to get hit hurt in car wrecks it's because like literally all crash test dummies are usually made after like men and stuff like that have you ever tried the dr pepper strawberry and cream i have not i have not tried it yeah store pixie sticks instead of cigarettes yeah you need to work out proper seatbelt adjustments i'm hoping in the future they make it yeah 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 like literally literally what are you cooking i don't know who we're, i don't know what's going on i'm gonna like yes thank you for the like thank you 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 my seatbelt goes across my leg i can't wear it yeah it's one of those things where, like you can lock a seatbelt in place Yee. thankfully they have some adjustments for seatbelts but it's one of those things where it's like uh they aren't made for boobs you know what i'm saying they are made for boobs bruh bruh It'd be one of those things. They're not made for boobs. Listen, boobs are important. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what part would you? Not free ones. Not free ones, bitch. Not free ones. But no, it's one of those things where I'm hoping at this some point in the future that they'll sit there, they'll kind of like figure out it, figure out something. Hi, bleed. Welcome by. It's we need to save the booba. Save the booba. And also save the person. That's honestly the more important thing. Save the person. But also save the booba. I rather use a foil point harness because I know it's like to be in crash, it's hard, but the only harness. Yeah. Be the change you want. Yeah, exactly, Para. Protect the booba, protect the person. Protect him. Protect him. Protect him. Protect him. Protect him. Protect him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, suck out. Welcome by. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Guys, I might go unload and reload a load of laundry real fast. You guys mind if I put us on break while I go do my laundry? Like, while I go, like, switch out my laundry real fast? Bruh. Excuse me. 
Yeah, no, I think if I remember correctly, women you tend to get worse injuries in car crashes just because the seat, the uh, crash test dummies. Hi, we're bringing the crash test dummies often end up uh, being made after men. So yeah, it's like one of those things. Yeah, just don't crash. It's the best idea, honestly. It's the best idea. But yeah, listen, or better don't get crashed. Exactly. You want to see some nice chat? Chat. I adore you. I love hanging out with you. you guys are so nice to me. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go switch out my laundry really fast. Give me like five minutes. I'm also gonna go check out my cat real fast. Give me like five fucking minis, bitch, and I'll be right the fuck back, okay? I'll be right the fuck back. Bye, 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 bye.
chat, what's the most romantic thing you can say to a lady? I thought of you while taking a giant dumpy. Hello, everyone, welcome back. Hello, hi. Hi, chat. Hello, good morning, good morning. Hi, Fluffy, welcome, hi. Hi, Pyro, welcome, morning. Hello, I forgot to turn the dryer on. Hi, Kazu, welcome, hi. Hi, Fluffy, welcome, hi. So it was 20 minutes. No, it was not 20 minutes. That was not 20 minutes. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Hi, the green, welcome, hi. Thank you for being here. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. What are we gonna do in war? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know about war. Listen, romantic. Do Listen, you know the most romantic thing you can tell a woman? I thought of you about taking a dumpy. Hello? So, Slash, how's the dryer? Well. Well. I forgot to run it. Hi, Jacko Knight. I thought you got forever. Shut up! I swear I'm looking by. Hi, Ox! Looking by. Thank you for being there. I was going to walk and look at the contract. Hey, look at all. Good boy. Hi, Discord Kitten. Hi, Sir Sir Nando. Good boy. Hello. Welcome by everyone. Hello. Hi! I think it's time for I thought of you were taking a shit. Listen, 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 listen. It's definitely romantic. Definitely won't get you in trouble. Definitely, definitely works every single time. I you don't believe me? Hello. This actually worked for me the other day. Oh! Are you into Italian food? Cause I want to take you out to a pizza my heart. I now have a date later tonight, lol. You have a date? Can you teach me how to get a date, please? Thank you. I need help. I need help. I need help. Please help me. Please. Please help me. I need help, Barracuda. Please. I need. I need. I need to get a women. I need to get a women. Please help me. Why are you saying no? Why are you not being a bro? Why no help? Why are you guys not wanting to help me get women? Why are you not wanting to help me get women? What? I want women. YouTubers are real. Women also are real. Not being a bro, being a new. No, I was just kidding. Leave a goodbye. I need help. I need help. 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 It's also back. Shut up, bitch. Help! Wait, wait, wait a minute. I want wait a minute. Women are real though. It's so sad. I'm so sad. No risk. No happiness. No love. Pain! Chat tried to help one time. He forgot the third rule. I forgot. I don't remember the third rule now. I already forgot everything. Beesh. My brain is empty. My heart is empty. Everything is empty now. Beesh. Aww. No help. No, help! I come from a goodbye. Negative root. Stop! Beesh! Go steal all the women from us if we teach you. I would. I'd take all the women. I'd take all the women. All the women belong to me. All the women. All the women. All the women for me. All the women for me. I've said woman multiple times, Art. Do you not have ears? Do you not have ears? I've said women! I like the ladies. I want the ladies. Did you get some of these days are obviously good? Honestly, you're kind of based for that one. Hi, middle, goodbye. You would know what to do with women for the best. Shut up! I have Riz! <sighs> you know, I can definitely tell which of you motherfuckers is the ones commenting on my stuff because like other people who don't regularly watch me hi cyber look goodbye hi tour listen other people who don't regularly watch me when they comment on my stuff when i'm sitting there be like i can get a date people are like uh, i want to go on a date with you i can tell when it's you motherfuckers because you motherfuckers will come in and comment on my stuff haha <laughs> no riz you can't do shit and i'm like i know it's my chat i know it's my fucking chat because you guys make fun of me you guys are like you can't do shit because you guys actually know me oh hi hey there so goodbye when you wonder women i don't know man hi kiki Goodbye. I can tell what I my actual I can tell when you guys are actually commenting on my stuff because you guys make fun of me. Other people sit there and they go, Oh, Mooney, you're so hot and stuff like that. I'm like, that's not anybody in my chat. Fuck these guys. No None bitches. of them no bitches. None of these guys know me. And then like you guys will come and be like, ha, hey, Mooney, you're a dork. Fuck you. And I'm like, I know that's my chat. Yeah, you guys casually roast me and I fucking love it. I will never say that again though. Have I been here for only two streams though? Yeah, but you kind of understand, you know? Go into the incense, go in L underscore, yes, uh, L underscore. Just be crackling at a distance, I know. Genuine comment, can't be Moody's chat. It's not. Listen, I know, I know. Hi, Zealot, welcome by. Listen, I know, I fucking know, bitch. Listen, I know, you know. I fucking know, bitch. I fucking know. 
Mizu. Oh, hi, Mitzi. Mizu says hi. Stop! 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 I still think you're nice. Thank you, Shepard. Thank you. I can listen to Moody's sweet grandma voice all day long. Let's go, beach. This is my first stream. I can always post lightning on your blog post. Hey, let's go! Fuck. 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 We only get serious to go a serious tangent. That's true. That's true. Mitzi says hi. Mitzi's like, oh my god. Let me pet her real fast. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. Hello, chat. You want to wah, 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 wah. Charmander's a rest. Girls of Oblivion Pokemon. I always choose you. Is Pikachu as Ash? I always say, I didn't use the one on the women! Thank you, Ether. I'm going to copy that and send it to women. All the women. Can I just at women of the world and be like, for you? At all the women of the world. Hi, love me, please. All the women of the world. Hello, all women of the world. I love you. Please date me. Okay, here, wait. Let's try it on Twitter right now. Let's try it on Twitter right now. Okay, here, wait. Wait, yeah, you're promoted. No longer Sushi Cat. You are now Meme Cat. Hello, all women of the world. I want you. Please love me. Love Mooney. P.S. You probably smell good. There, is that good, chat? Is that good? Women of the world, hello. Full proof strategy at women. Okay. Okay. Okay, sent. Done. Done, chat. It's been done. I sure will to buy. It's been done. I have added all women. I just added the at women. I don't even know who has the at women. It's suspended. The at women is suspended. Women don't exist. Women aren't real. Women aren't fucking real. God fucking damn it. Dear women of the world, you don't exist. God! Fucking damn it! God! Hi, Pyra. Hi, x Hi, Silver Alice. Uh, but a lady will say hi and flirt with you and you'll blank like a fax machine trying to work. Okay, okay. I did not even be called up like this. I am dead. Women are cancelled from Twitter.com. Women are cancelled on Twitter.com! About men in Twitter? I actually... I want to become a I... mom! Do you read my game? What's up to no women? Thank you, everyone. Thank you, I go play. Oh, I'm so sad. Just men exist? You're stuck with me now. I Min doesn't exist! At least I can't find it. Alright, at least you got homies hanging out. Schwab, thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you, Schwab, thank you for three months. Thank you. Should you watch a pickup artist YouTube to help with that rules last? I don't know if that's gonna be helpful! Yeah, I got the homies hanging out with Hi Samuel, goodbye. Listen, I don't fucking need women anymore. Hi, Alton, welcome to being good. Get my tail up. Bam, bitch! Listen, I don't need women anymore. I'm just gonna hang out with you guys and pretend that- Bro! Pretend I'm not sad, okay? I'm just gonna pretend to- Hello. Hello, hello. Mooney, I want you to know I was having a very mad morning for people to stream on now. I'm sort of like, hey, let's go. Oh, uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you, talking head. I got- I got Riz. Yeah. Make a men Twitter account. I- I think it probably is just also. There. It changed the outfit. I changed the outfit. I changed it. You got me into my date later tonight. Stop bragging, Barracuda. That's rude. I work gang. Welcome by. Hello. Don't give her any ideas. Bruh, I'm just gonna become mean. I'm gonna become all mean. All of the mean. That's me. I am all of the mean. I am all of the mean now. That is for me. That is for me. That is for me now. I am all the mean. Okay? I am all the mean. Men are banned. Men don't exist. Twitter. Oh no. Everyone's everyone's fucked. Everyone's fucked. Everyone's fucked, me. She's so sad. It's so sad. Everyone's fucked, me. You represent all men now. Chat, would you allow me to be the representative of men? I will represent you good in court. Okay? Listen, men deserve to be loved. Men deserve to have be appreciated. Everyone deserves to be appreciated, okay? Hello. 
Excuse me, ma'am, you owe me a drink. Fuck no, beige. I don't want it. Oh, that was a pickup line. Oh, I need to use pickup lines. Listen, chat. Hi, Larry. Larry, I represent you now. As, re as the representative of men now, I now represent you, Larry. I now represent you, Larry. As a man can say, you represent us. Okay, listen. Listen, I now represent all men. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Bruh. I want to be a problem. My, my future husband my future husband listen i have stated multiple times okay i have stated multiple times okay i think i got damn it look at my hi Ezio. i think that 70 percent of the world's problems would not happen if men were just allowed to show emotion and not be made fun of once again once again, I feel like 70% of the world's issues are because men are told they're not allowed to show emotion. And because it's, bruh, and because it's one of those things where men aren't allowed to show emotion, they take it out on women, okay? They take it out on women, you know what I'm saying? And then it makes women's lives worse. And that's why it's like 70% of the world's problems come from men just being shamed for just showing basic human emotion that all of us fucking have, beesh. Hello. <laughs> bruh! Are they on a live themselves? Yeah! Bruh! It's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. I get so happy when I hear about, uh, when I hear about one of my guy friends or one of my previous guy friends that I don't talk to as much anymore. Like, actually going and getting therapy. I'm like, oh my god. This is awesome. This is incredible. This is great. Because, like, it used to be that you sat there and, like, men would be shamed for going, bro. Men would be shamed for going to go get therapy and that's so sad. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everyone should be allowed to get therapy and not be shamed for it. Therapy is good. Therapy is good! It's good to work on yourself. Yes. This is tell my friend, guy friends all the time I love them. Hostation. I love that. Listen, you gotta be the change you want to see in the world, and I will be the start of that change. I don't care if you cry. I don't care if you're vulnerable. I just want to see you succeed. Okay. Listen, you can cry. You can, 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 you can do all that stuff. I don't care. Therapy is expensive. Hi, Sandy. Bush. Goodbye. Hi, Jeff. Like, goodbye. Listen, I don't care if you cry. I just want you to be okay. That's all I care about. You, you can cry if you want to. You can cry if you want to. I'm fine with that. I love it when you guys tell me, Mooney, I was having a bad day, but you made it a bit easier. That makes me happy. Hi, Bear Monkey. Welcome by. It makes me happy when you guys are like, you, I was having a bad day, but you're making it a bit easier to deal with. I'm like, good. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. That's the reason I stream. That's the reason I stream. Okay. Not vulnerable. I have walls up in a moat. I feel that. I understand that. We're crocodiles. Oh! You also piss in the moat? I piss in the moat. Hi, take it. No, goodbye. I also piss in my moat. I have a hard time. I have a hard time showing emotions sometimes. And it's like encouraged for me to show emotions. And it's like, bro, it's like, it's hard sometimes. It's hard. I get embarrassed when I cry. It's embarrassing. But it's one of those things where it's like, you got it. You got to do it. You got to show emotions sometimes. The people like it. The people like it. The people like it. The people like it. Hello. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to letting me represent the mean. I would be mean representative. I'm the mean representative. You represent all men. You claim men as a Twitter handle. Oh, I need to. Can we buy it? Ah! Oh, I represent me. I represent me now. Larry, why did you contribute so many channel points? You want to meow? Meow. I totally represent all men now. I scream my car is fun. Honestly, if that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do. 100% understandable. Hi, Storm Rider. Welcome by. Welcome by. Let's, I represent all men now. I speak for you, boys. Okay? I speak for you. You need to be shown love and appreciation and given compliments. Everyone needs compliments. Everyone needs to feel appreciated. Everyone needs to feel love. Um, bees. Everyone needs to feel appreciated. I, 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 listen, I appreciate you. Let me do it right now. We're going to start right here. I appreciate you. Can you fix the car? Give me enough time. Officially, I will. But it'll be a long time, beesh. Listen. Listen. I appreciate you. Beesh. You're cool. You're lovely. You're stuck with me now. Oh, Kami. Thank you for the two and so Thank you. Listen. I appreciate that you're here. And I love that you're here. And it means it means so much to me that you just hang out with me. You guys make my day. It makes me so happy when I see my- <laughs> Bruh, stop shitting your pants! I'm trying to compliment you!
you. Hi, Keith. Welcome back. Listen, it makes me so happy when I see your names in chat and I know I, re I recognize my regulars. It makes me so happy. It makes me. It means so much to me. But yeah, careful, Moody. Some dumbass might call you a pick me, bruh. Hi, Arth. Have a good one. Uh, listen, listen. If they're calling me a pick me for just saying, hey, men have feelings and they exist. I don't want to. I don't want anything to do with them. Hi, Nan. Welcome by. Hello, Dizzy. Lizzy. Welcome by. Hi, Vicky. Hello. Welcome. Hello. 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 News way too much about us, man. We need to hire for the Silver Mountain Save World. Here's the thing. I think, bruh. I think most women honestly understand that this is kind of an issue. It's just one of those things, bruh. Pick me is when you're empathetic. No, pick me is Dion. That's not what a pick me is. A pick me is like. This on the chat chat. I love sitting. I love hanging out with you. Go, bro, bro. You wanna wah 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 wah. A pick me is like when you sit there. When okay, so this is the best example. If you sit there and like an another girl has makeup on, you sit there and you go, I don't need to wear makeup. I just want to look natural. And it's like you're just putting another person down just for doing something she wants to do, which is rude. Why would you sit there and put someone down? If they're just, if they're just doing something they want to do, maybe they just like putting on makeup. Maybe they just felt artistic that day. Yeah, just being a bitch. Like, yeah, exactly. Hi, Julius. Look at my. Literally just putting someone else down just to make yourself look better. Like, you, and like, usually, uh, usually people do it around, yeah, you go queen, you do whatever you want. Exactly. Hi, Pokey. Welcome back. Listen, I, listen, okay, so I love supporting my fellow women. Women are awesome. Men are awesome. Everyone's awesome. I love everyone, okay? Listen, I love everyone. I think everyone's awesome. I love women. I love men. Yeah, some people are shitty in the world. Some people are fucking shitty as fuck. But there's gonna be shitty people everywhere. You gotta do your best to find the good people in the world, okay? Putting someone else down says more about you than anyone else. Exactly, Coflip! Putting someone else down puts it shows more about you than it does about anyone else in the world. I'm a shitty people. No, you're not. You've been nothing but lovely, Toxic. You've been nothing but lovely so far that I remember. Listen! Listen, you try to be good. That's the important part. Listen, you could have done shitty stuff in the past. But the thing is, as long as you're doing your best to be a good bean in the future, that's all that matters. Hi, friendly fire. I'm better off alone, bro. Anon, I feel you. That is actually not a bad thing to say. Because like we tell you right now, it is 100% better. It is 100% better to be alone than to be in a relationship with somebody who makes you feel bad about yourself. Okay? That is 100% what you just said. 100% right. It is 100% better to be in to be single than it is to be in a bad relationship. Only accept relationships in your life that sit there and they give something to you. Now listen, that doesn't mean that the person has to be like always contributing, but like they have to sit there and make you happy. Like they have to like contribute to your happiness. Like maybe they can't do much. Maybe like maybe they can't do much because they got a lot going on, but like they'll give you a hug or they'll like They'll tell you, I appreciate you, and that just makes your heart glow a little bit. You know, it just makes your heart glow a little bit. And that's contributing to your life. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hi, Cherno. Well, goodbye. That contrib- Like, listen, you want someone who, pos who contributes positively to your life. What about toxic people? Drop them! Drop them! It's hard, but you can do it! Hi, Froggy. Welcome goodbye. Hi, Edo. Just be- Just bring peace and it'll be fine. Exactly! Even if they could just contribute peace to your life. That's all that matters. Listen, they could be, like- They could be someone who can't do much because, like, maybe they got some issues. Like, maybe some physical issues or something where they can't do that much. But as long as they bring some happiness to your life and, like, it's, like, a joy to be around them most of the time, that's all that matters. Like, listen, nobody's a joy- Nobody's a joy to be around 100% of the time. But, like, if, like, at least 70% of the time it's kind of joyful. That's really what matters. Hey, Dela Cruz. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Hugs don't get enough weight in life. Hugs don't get enough weight. We should. Uh, hugs are good. I love hugs. Hugs are good, good, good. Peace. Miss Moody, best night. I love you guys. I want you guys to do well in life. I don't want you guys to be in bad relationships. I want you guys to do well. I want you guys to do as good as I want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? Go to zoo in another hour. That talks people are going to be there. Uh, just just do your own thing. Hi, Baba. Welcome okay, by. Just do your own thing. Just do your own thing. Winnie Professor, please. Dude, I just want to... Listen. Empathy goes a long way. Empathy goes a long, long way. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Empathy goes a long, long way. What you just do... What you just do is do your best to just treat people and, like listen okay so this is the way i go about like this is the way i go about like doing things with people i always do my best to be kind to people around me and if they reply with to my kindness with like something that's not kind i note that down 
I might still be a little bit more kind to them because people have bad days. Let's be 100. People have bad days. But it's one of those things where if they keep on responding to my kindness with unkindness, I will cut them out of my life. Or if, like, even just, like, if they respond oh. to my... Hello. Hi. Hi, Lemon Light. Good morning, Moon. Good morning! Oh, well, listen. Listen. No, you don't You don't need caps, them. Listen. The best thing to do when somebody is not responding to you with kindness, when you respond to them with kindness, the best thing to do... Hi, Devil. Thank you. Good morning. The best thing I do is to just slowly withdraw from the situation. I have had so many very close friends. Like, um... I've had close friends sit there. Hi, JJ. I, I've had close friends sit there and like, I thought they had, they wanted the best for me. And then like, I'll go out of my way to do something very kind for them. Hi, Ruby. I love you, Ruby. I've had them like sit there and like, kind of like take my kindness towards them and then complain about it. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. I got the goodbye. It hurts a lot when that happens. So the best thing I do is just do that thing where like, you're still nice to them. You're still very polite, but you do the thing where like, you know, you like slowly disengage. Like you just disengage little by little. And like you just find other people that sit there and when they do fuck up, cause like everybody's gonna fuck up. Let's be a hundred. Everybody's gonna fuck up, okay? Everybody is. The important part is how do they respond after they fuck up? While they're fucking up, no, most people aren't gonna have a good response, okay? Most people aren't gonna have a good response. Hi Ace, welcome by. Most people aren't gonna have a good response while they're fucking up. What, ha what When they come back and talk to you again, that's what's important, okay? That's what's important, how they talk to you after the fuck up. If they come back being like, listen, um, my feelings were hurt because of this, but I also realized that I said some things that were hurtful too. Um, yeah. It's one of those things where n nobody's going to be perfect 100% of the time, but it's one of those things where just watch how people respond after their nasty... That's the big thing. How people respond after is the big thing. Hi, Sati. Hi, Baron. Like, uh, I have a lot of close people in my life that have really hurt me really badly. But the way they responded afterwards and the way they've treated me afterwards, it's just one of those things where I'm like, I'm not going to hold this against you because the way you responded afterwards made it to where I understand that you just fucked up for a second and it happens. Lula, I hope you have a good one. Listen, people fuck up. It's one of those things where you just gotta have patience with people. Those deep yees. Yees. My cat's name? Yes, cat's name! Tattooed yees! That's 100% uh, therapy says with Mooney. This is therapy session. My joke comment doesn't fit in with the sweet bubbly speech. Wait, it is 100% okay. I love your joke comments. I love all- I love it when you guys like joke around and stuff. I love it when you guys joke around. It's really fun. Hello. How not to respond is on Twitter. Kay. Exactly. What well, if she blames you for ending a relationship when she cheated? Jay, let me tell you right now. You are, listen, you are allowed to end a relationship for any reason. Okay? You are allowed to end a relationship for any reason. It does not matter what it is. You are a human being who has free choice. Literally, she could have, like, she could have just squirted ketchup on her eggs, and that's the reason why you break up. That is fine. Listen, is it the most. Is it the most rational reason? No. Just, just recording ketchup on our eggs. But nobody is required to stay or leave a relationship. Okay? Nobody is required. So, if somebody hurts you that badly where they cheated on you, one, that is a very rational reason to leave a relationship. I'm like, like sitting there being like squirting, squirting eggs, like ketchup on your eggs. Can I say peace, I'm out in ending relationship? You can. But it's one of those things, whore, you can. But you know, is it the smartest idea to just do that? Hi, Charnade. Welcome to your cozy boys. Yeah! Thank you, Charizard. Thank you. It's one of those things where, like, you could sit there, you could just say, peace, I'm out. Do you want to do that? Hi, Jinx. Welcome by. Listen, listen. She doesn't exist. Gotta end it. Fuck yeah. We're allowed to end things. Yes, you are absolutely allowed to end things. Especially if it's something where you are very hurt. It is absolutely okay to end things. It is also okay. Hi, Shady. Welcome by. It is also okay if after... Listen, I'm never gonna suggest this. But I know for some people who choose to forgive after someone cheats on them. It's one of those things where if that relationship is so important to you that you want to forgive them after they cheat. That is okay. You can do that. It is also just as okay to 100% just walk away. Listen, what you want to do with your life is up to you, okay? What you want to do with your life is up to you. Do I suggest staying in a relationship after someone cheats on you? I I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, this is one of those things where it's like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. 
I don't want to be here anymore. It's like, bro, you 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 made your you made your opinions clear. Um, I appreciate that you if they were upfront with me about it, dude. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate it so much that you were upfront with me. Uh, bye though. I like being cheated on. Okay, solo solo cup. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's also one of those things where um something that's very upsetting to me is uh chaotic moody, HD moody, therapist moody, how many more there was you all? Uh you still love your ex? That is 100 percent understandable. Listen, most of the time, your love for whoever you're dating doesn't immediately turn off as soon as you guys break up. You know what I'm saying? That would be inhuman. Unless they did something really, really bad. Like, you know. And even if they do something really, really bad, it's hard. It's, uh, it's going okay, Gail. Um, but it's also one of those things where I've also heard men accuse women who have been... Okay, so, uh, trigger warning real fast. I've also heard men... Hi, Cinnamon. I've also heard men accuse women who got sexually assaulted against their will of cheating. And that also makes me sad. Because it's one of those things where it's like, bro, she didn't want it! She didn't want it! She didn't want that! It's one of those things where, like, you gotta listen to the full story for a second. I've, like, I've actually had friends that, like, legitimately got assaulted, and then they were accused of cheating and stuff like that. I know, it's fucking insane. It's fucking insane. It's fucking insane, bro. You could be ethically non-monogamous. Exactly, Wait. exactly! Have a talk with your partner. Yeah, I need full contact. Exactly. Exactly. I've heard when men, women accuse men of doing fucked up shit to get money. Exactly, cuddle. People are just- listen. People suck. Listen to them when they're telling you that they suck, okay? Mm-hmm. Communication's key. Exactly. But again, you're not gonna feel punched. GG, yay or nay. I've actually not tried that. Uh, I've, not, I've not tried that. Okay, guys. You know most of us are fired by men. Look at the studies. Alternate wolf! That is probably true. Let's... Okay. Let, let's, 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 let's... Okay, listen, guys. Guys. Most, most divorces are initiated by women. Let's take a look into that real fast. Oh wait, initiated by men? Okay, let's take a look at that real fast. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's think about it for a second. Is it actually true? Is it actually true? Let me look at it. Let me look it up. Or... Who divorces who more? Let's look, let's look at the stats real fast. He's still stable back. I don't know what you mean. Hi, Lauren. Women divorce more. That makes sense to me, actually. Let's be a okay. Let's be a hundred. Let's be a hundred. This may be a touchy subject. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. We can talk about touchy subjects. Let's be let's be real for a second, okay? A lot of men aren't taught how to deal with their emotions and stuff, okay? It a lot of men like let's be let's be real. We just talked about this. Seventy percent. Of, I, I've talked about this multiple times. Seventy percent of the world's problems are because men aren't allowed to just show emotions, so they can't—they don't have a way to deal with them. So it makes sense to me that women would initiate divorce more because, yeah, men are specifically worse spouses. I would agree with that, but it's because they're not allowed to sit there and deal with their emotions in a healthy way. It, it's because they're not allowed to deal with their emotions in a healthy way, and it just fucking sucks. Because I feel like a lot of people would be a much better spouse if they just, like, were allowed to show their emotions in a healthy way. So, yeah. It's just bottled and so exposed. Exactly, Ordain! Exactly! Yeah, exactly! You know what I'm saying? So, it makes sense to me that women would initiate more divorces because, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense to me that that would happen. But if they show you too much, it's all funny for females. Well, not for me, Jay. Okay, for- Okay, so it's like this. I would view it like this, okay? Uh, I think Ludwig said it really well. He's like, he goes, I wouldn't mind if I was cheated on. It's not because I want her to cheat on me, but it's because I will know that that's not somebody I want to be with if they do cheat on me, and that will tell me that I don't want to be with them. If that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? So, it's the same with, like, somebody being turned off by you showing emotions. I would not get upset about somebody being turned off by you showing emotions. I would I would take that as this person is not someone I should be in a relationship with. I'm glad I've learned this. Because anybody who sits there and gets disgusted by you showing emotions is not someone you should be with. That's highly understandable. I would ask you to act all lovey dovey for me by car cheating on me multiple people. I'm so sorry to hear that. No, it's okay. Mr. Skelly, this is on topic. This is 100% on topic. It would suck, but at least you know your boundaries. Exactly, Blushy. It sucks. 
I'm a very emotional dude. Pana, we love that. We love that. A lot of men do want to end a relationship at a double standard cover or something. Yeah, Jeff Black, that's also a thing. It's like, like men might be scared to like initiate divorces too. Hi, Yogi, welcome by. It's it's scary to initiate divorces. It's something that's hard. Um, but yeah, it's hard. It's hard, dude. It's it's scary. It's I don't get alimony, especially if party saw demand it. Um, it's alimony again. That's uh. I'll say it like this. Alimony in the case of like, alimony is something that's very un I don't, I don't understand much about alimony. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be very upfront. I'm gonna be very upfront. Um, I've always made my own, I've always made my own money. <laughs> I've always, I've pretty much every single relationship I've been in, I've always been the person with more money <laughs> because I've always dated broke dudes. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I just like the- I just like- I like who I like. <laughs> and so I've always been the person with more money. <laughs> and so I really don't understand alimony and all that stuff. Um, it's one of those things where if- If the person- If you like- especially in the- in the instance of if you started a company and your spouse helped you build up that company and is part of the re- and is a big part of the reason why that company is able to run I would understand alimony. Um, I don't really, I don't know enough about alimony in other cases. I don't know enough about alimony in other cases to like be able to make a, to be able to make a, like to be able to make a, 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 a conclusion on that. Um, hi Cloud Jumper. I don't know enough about alimony to, like, to make a conclusion on any of that. Um, I, I just don't. It's not one of those things I really know much about. So I don't want to sit there and like say anything about it. Cause it's like, I'm not very well educated on this topic if I'm being a hundred. Like I've never been married before, so. I don't know shit about alimony. <laughs> well, I've got ex messaged her about her paying for her to come over and cuddle. She immediately showed me the message and told me she was disgusted by it. Aww. That's awesome. I I'm glad you got a good one. Well, have a good one on your finals. Wait, somebody said something that I saw. It's where you have to give money, right? I- I've heard of child support, which is understandable. I don't- I don't know much about alimony, though. It's okay to be broke as long as you're pulling your weight. Yes, cold flames. That's exactly how I feel about stuff. That's exactly how I feel about things. It's okay to be broke as long as you're pulling your weight. Exactly. That's exactly how I feel about it. Um, alimony has been skewed very heavily by the media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like if your wife cheated on you, you got divorced, she demanded alimony, say so approves it. That's a weird situation. Why would they approve that if the wife cheated on you? Alimony is meant for a wife who built their life around their husband and can't live without the aid. Oh. Huh. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I don't- I'm a person that doesn't like it living off the support of others. Uh, streaming is weird for me for that reason. Um, it's why I take sponsorships, because I don't like that I rely on you guys for money, kind of. But it's also one of those things where, like, I don't ask for you guys to donate to me. Um, so yeah, like, yeah. Um, I- I understand child support, because, like, you know, if the man's taking care of the child, the wife should pay child support. If the wife is taking care of the child, the the husband should pay child support. Yeah, yeah. It's kinda like child support. Huh. Again, I don't know enough about this stuff. I don't I don't know enough about this shit, man. I don't I don't I don't know enough about this shit, man. Hi President, welcome by. I may have never been in a relationship with people who close end up in divorce or break up. I still don't take it well. I feel that. Men raise kids after divorce is rare. Jack Black, I actually studied, I actually was like researching into that the other day because I saw somebody, Jack Black, talking about how like, talking on Twitter the other day about women always get children after divorce. And I'm like, that's weird. Why would women always get children after divorce? So the reason the statistic is actually so high, it's really interesting. It's because most men don't file to take care of their children after divorce. So that's what makes it so skewed. But Yes, it is also true that it is a little bit harder for men to be able to get a hold of children after divorce. But like the reason the statistic is so skewed is because most of the men don't fight for like taking care of their children afterwards. Most of the men don't fight to take care of their children. They'll just like do like the one one or two days a week or something like that. I have a guy for one choice part for the mother. Ah, uh, I hope that they're all having a great time as a dad. That's so awesome. I pay child support, but on top I still provide everything with kids. Oh, Bags, you're a good dad. That is so sweet. Your children probably feel so fucking loved. Your children probably feel so fucking- It's not as cut and dry as the videos by- Exactly! Things aren't usually cut and dry! Even cases where they do, they almost never win. Prisoner, that's so sad. In my experience, it's because they always send the kid into the women against the will. Aww. That's really sad. We need good dads in the world. 
There's like, people do jump to conclusions a little bit high radius. People do jump to conclusions pretty quickly. It's one of my dreams to be there. I get real sad when I say bye to my kids like that. Yui, I support you in making sure that you could be a good father no matter what the situation is. Listen, we need good dads in the world. We need good dads in the world. I have a good dad. My dad's awesome. I love him so much. I love my dad. Have, have my parents always been perfect? Fuck no. Absolutely not. My parents have not always been perfect. My parents have fucked up a lot. But you know what? They try their best. And that's what's important. My, my wife and I are excited to have a kid. We try for each other. My dad left for some cigarettes. No! <laughs> Neither one me. I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, I'll be your dad, chat! Son, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for trying today. That's all that matters, son. You tried, and that's why I'm proud of you, okay? You tried, and that's why I'm proud of you. Listen, listen, you're just doing your best. I'm so proud of you, son. Son, you try hard every day. I see it. I acknowledge it. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Dude, also, you guys talk about step parents. God fucking damn. Good step parents are everything. Good step moms, good step dads. If they show a love to that kid that's not theirs, honestly, fucking amazing. Good step We need good step parents because it's like sometimes, you know, the wife before or the husband before they passed away, or like maybe things didn't work out and like. The kid needs somebody to step up. And then the good step parents will fucking... They'll be like, I'm gonna love you like you're mine. But I'm also gonna respect that you're not mine. You don't have to... Like, literally, a good, se a good step parent is like, I'm going to love you like you are mine. But I'm also gonna treat you in a respectful way where I understand that you are not mine. That's a, that's a good step parent right there. That's a good step parent. It's like being like, you don't have to call me mom or dad. You don't have to do any of that. Literally, just know that I love you. You can show love to stepkids, but the card is always pulled. You're not my dad. Gracky, that's... Listen, that's something that if you go into it... Hi, Deja. Welcome by. Hi, Philly. That's something if you go into being a step parent, you gotta be emotionally prepared for that. Hi, hot tail looker. Here's the thing. Let's be 100. Every teenager is gonna be shitty at some point. They're going through a lot of things going on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of shit going on. Hi, Moxie. Welcome back. They got a lot of, like, like, remember being a teenager? You remember? You remember? There was a lot of hormones. There was a lot of shit going on in your head. You didn't understand. You didn't understand life. You were, you, you were an angel. Uh-huh, okay. Listen, you didn't understand life. A lot of things were, like, really scary. Listen, listen, things were scary when you were a teenager. Hi, Ivy. When you are go when you are dropping in as a step parent, you gotta go in with the with the like with the mindset of I'm just gonna treat this kid like this is my own kid, but not expect them to treat me like I'm their parent. That's the way you just gotta go in. That's the way you gotta go into it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. You got you got what I'm saying? I was just horny as fuck. Listen, soul! That will also fuck you up! That will make you- that's very frustrating! It's very frustrating! Listen, teenagers are having a hard time just- Listen, if you're going in as a parent or as a step-parent, you gotta just under- you just gotta understand that you are going to- you- the teenager is going to have a hard time. Just do your best to be patient for like six to eight years. I'm gonna say a parent advice, but I don't even have a girlfriend. Bro, I don't even have a kid. I'm not even- I've never been married. I've, like, I, I've, I've never even been pregnant, bro. I just, like, I literally am giving advice to parents as someone who has never had anything close to a parent before. I'm just giving advice from, like, kind of, like, things I've seen around me. Things I've seen- I was super depressed. See, now I'm a mildly depressing adult! Let's go! Your advice makes sense. No, it's like one of those things. Mooney coaches don't play. Yes, that's right, Beesh. Mooney is chest parent. I'm your dad, Beesh. I'm also your grandfather. Hi, guys. It's all goodbye. I was a premature old man, senior. Now I'm an adult. I'm a premature old man. Hey, let's go. Imagine Mooney being an actual parent firing all over the house. Bro, I... People tell me all the time, they're like, you would be an actually good parent. And I'm sitting there being like, no, I wouldn't be. Uh, I know that I wouldn't be a good parent. And so that's why I just don't plan to have kids. Like, I can sit there all day and expound upon stuff, but at the end of the day, I have a hard time just taking care of myself sometimes. 
And so it's one of those things where it's like, I'm going to do my best. Also, please don't mention your age in chat. It's for your own safety. It's for your safety. A kid in this comedy. Exactly, too. Hi, Sparkster. You're kind of person that people will say would be a good parent. That, okay, but like, you're, okay, listen. Just because you're kind does not mean that you would be a good parent. And just because you're understanding doesn't mean you'd be a good parent. I would be a good parent only because I realize that I don't need to have kids. That's the reason that, like, I would be a good parent is because I realize I don't need to have kids. I would suck as a parent, dude. I would suck. I, I have, I have two, I have really, really bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna be upfront. We talked about this before. I have really, really bad anxiety. I have really, really bad anxiety. Like horrible. Like to the point that there was one time I had, look at, so there was, there was one time, it was actually a, like a month or two ago. I had such bad anxiety about something that it genuinely was so bad that I got a fever from it. Like, I had a fever from just how bad anxiety I had. There was nothing else going on. It was just because I had bad anxiety. And it's just like, I don't need a kid, man. That poor thing. I might, maybe at some point I'll adopt. Maybe. I just don't. I, I'm also one of those people that. Okay, this is going to be a very, this is going to be a very, like. Okay, so this is not going to be a popular opinion. Some people in chat are about to get mad. Hi, Dr. Welcome back. Some people in chat are about to get mad. Some of you are going to get mad. Just hear me out. This is a hot take. I think it's really selfish to feel like you have to have genetically yours children. I think that's fucking selfish. Hello. My age is funnily the same as how long I've been born crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel that rewind. Bro, I think it is, gen I think it is selfish to feel like you have to have children that are genetically yours. I have had, I have met so many people who sit there and they're crying over not being able to have kids when there are so many kids up for adoption! It's not a hot take. Really? I've had so many- I- Dude, when I was a teenager, I fucking told one of the moms that were crying that couldn't get- Okay, like, she wasn't a mom. I took it told one of the people that was like crying over not being able to have kids. I'm like, you could just adopt. And like, she went off on me. She went off on me! She went off on me, and I'm like sitting there being like, bro, that's still you. And to me, and, and like, to me, if I adopt something, that is mine. And I take care of them. It's the same with my cats. Like, I adopted my cats. Two of my cats, I didn't get until they were adults. Hi, Weak Like, welcome by. Okay, it's just a nice thought that you get to continue your bloodline, so the choice is taken. You that. I feel that, Wee Leak. I feel, I feel that 100%. If the choice is taken from you, I can understand that. But it's one of those things where, like, I will hear parents talk about hi ace hi ace les hi gay potato welcome back okay i have some people i have dated when they have been men they have i have been very upfront i'm like i don't care to have my own biological children i don't care and some of the things that have been said to me have been very very upsetting because they will sit there and they'll be like, how can you be so selfish and not want your own biological children? And it's like, I don't have any, I don't have any want to be pregnant. I don't have any want to give birth. I don't have any want for all that stuff. That's not something that's important to me. I'm like, listen, I don't want to adopt, but it's one of those things where if having a child is so important to you, I will do 50% of the parent work. I'm like, I'm very upfront with them. Hi, Phantom, welcome by. Listen, I'm very upfront with everybody. Also, Black, thank you so much for being here. I'm very upfront with everybody I, that I go on a date with. I'm very upfront very early on. I'm like, listen, if you want to have kids, and if they happen to be male, I'm like, you're going to have to step up and be like, at least 50% dad. You cannot do the thing where I stay at home with the kids all day and all that stuff. I'm like, that's not happening. I'm like, we will divorce if that happens. And you'll be left with the adopted kid. Like, like I, I will still love the kids and stuff like that, but I'm like, we will divorce. We will not be together. I'm like, I'm like, you have to like, because like, I don't, listen, to me, having kids isn't important. That's not important to me. That's not something I care about in my life. If I if my if my partner wants kids, that's fine. I'm I'm I am down to help take care of them. I am down for divorce already. I had twice divorced. It's one of those things where it's like, bro, I am happy to help. But it's one of those things. Yeah, no, the Gail. Unfortunately, I have come across a lot of weird people when dating, and because I've had that 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 conversation very early on with people, I have heard a lot of weird shit, man. Like literally, there will be people when I'm like, "Listen, I'm not doing this." They'll be like, "But you should be a stay-at-home mom for them," and I'm like, "No, I'm not interested. No, thank you. No, that's not happening. We need to. We just breaking. Literally, as soon as they say that, I'm just like, we're breaking up right now. Bye. 
No accountability. Exactly. Exactly. A lot of people... Okay, it's like this. It's like this. I just a voice. I I told my mom once, because like we were talking about why I don't want kids. And I said it the worst way possible. And like, this is gonna be, this also might be a hot take. This might also be a hot take. Okay, listen. It's, my mom is like, why don't you wanna, why don't you want kids? I'm like, I don't wanna be a mom. I'm like, if I could be a dad, I might be done for it. <laughs> and by that, I meant like, a 70s dad. Hi, Dan. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> I know, I know. It's horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, dads are cool, though. I love my dad. My dad was actually very involved. My dad is very invo was very involved with us growing up. He worked... Okay, so for the amount of hours that my dad worked, my dad worked so many hours. My dad was overworked. My dad was overworked, honestly. Like, he overworked his entire life. But any time that I would go into his office, like, I would go into his office almost every single night and sit down with him and just talk to him for an hour. And you know what that man would do? He would just sit and just let me talk to him for an hour. After getting home from working, like, 9 to 10 hours a day. Hard work. Hard work. Like, my dad incredible dad my mom incredible mom like my dad genuinely it even after a long day at work as long as he had just a little bit of time to just kind of wind down a little bit like i would he would like he would just let me say like literally there was one time that i was sick and mom wasn't able to be home for one reason and i remember that like i went up to him and i'm like dad i don't feel good and he just laid in bed with me and he just helped me while i felt sick and he was like i'm sorry your mom's not here right now and i'm like it's, it's okay i'm like it's okay dad you're here that's all that matters hi legal rice oh goodbye but yeah, no, like, you know, you go to mom when you feel sick. <laughs> I remember that <laughs> my mom was talking to us the other day. My mom was talking to us the other day. My dad's actually really cool. My dad's great. My dad actually, like, stepped up a lot. My my mom hated throw up, hated cleaning throw up. And so my dad is awesome <laughs> because my dad would clean up the throw up because it made my mom sick. Like, literally, my mom, she was like, yeah, your dad always cleaned up the throw up. I couldn't do it. Your dad's awesome. It's so sweet. My dad's great, man. My dad's great. He would clean up the throw up anytime one of us thrown up. <laughs> Like, if we peed ourselves or something, my mom was fine with that. She could do that. But, dude, my dad always cleaned up the throw up, apparently. <laughs> Hi, Rolling Night. Well, goodbye. Go clean your shit, Sid. My mom was fine. My mom was fine. My mom was fine with doing all the other stuff. Like, my mom was, like, my mom was fine with diapers. My dad would help with diapers, too. But, like, my mom was fine with diapers. My mom was fine with everything else. But, like, like there was one time I remember... I can't, I remember that, like, I just walked into the kitchen, and I'm like, Mom, Dad, I don't feel good. Bah! And I was like, I just threw up everywhere, and my mom sat there, and, like, she held me in another room while my dad cleaned it up. <laughs> just honestly, my parents are great. My mom just, like, kind of held me. Yeah, yeah, my dad's great. My mom is great, too. My mom literally, my mom literally came over yesterday, and she helped me clean and get rid of stuff. Like, my mom is awesome. And I just kept on telling her over and over again. I'm like, thank you so much for coming over and helping me with this. Hi. Hey, Mooney. So, how many times have you been to the gym since the blood pact? So, okay. Pause, champ punished i promise i'm going soon i've actually had a lot going on with my cat where it's been really hard to get out of the house i promise you as soon as things are better i'm going to be going i'm so sorry i promise i promise also i didn't promise to go to the gym i promised to go on walks um if it makes you feel better i have been having like boo over gym yeah i promise as soon as like boo is a little bit more stable i'm going to be going out a bit more what age were you when you when this happened when i just threw You're up at the floor hi macro always having fun here uh, Moonified thank you, macro. here's the thing when i when, when i threw up probably about 10. it's not that i don't feel like it soul i actually do want to go to the gym i genuinely want to go to the gym again it's just one of those things where it's like uh it's just one of those things where it's hard to leave the house right now because Boo's been very sick. Hi. Fair enough. Thank you. Punish sake, I tell you what. If Boo is still stable by Monday, I'll start I'll start going on the walks. I'm gonna go on the walks now. Are you gonna get a cat harness for your cats to go on walks with you? Absolutely not. My cat would not. My cat would hate that. Hi, we like hi Dr. Pig, welcome by. Hi Rico Sick. Mooney, you're too stinky for the gym. Everyone's stinky in the gym! I love you guys. Thank you. But yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, my mom literally... Hi, Arrows. My mom came over and she helped me. 
She helped me, like, she, like, she helped me tidy up stuff of it. She helped me throw out a bunch of stuff. Like, uh, she just, she's really great. My mom is really great. Dude, my mom used to, like, drive us around to, like, every event that we want to go to. And my dad would sit there, and he would be, like, praising my mom, being like, your mom takes you to every event you guys want to go to. I think, like, he was just like, I'm so glad. He would, like, he would say things like, I'm so glad you have a mom that cares about you so much that she takes you to every event. We'd be like, yeah, we got a mom that cares about us, take you to every event. And, like, again, I do want to make this clear. My relationship with my parents is very complicated. Like, they have been, in some ways, they, like, did 10 out of 10 parenting. In other ways, they messed up in a lot of ways. And I don't talk about that too much, because it's very personal. It's it's also something that really hurt a lot. It's, like, something that really hurt. Like, my parents have not been perfect. They have not been at all perfect. At all. Like, there's a lot of things that they've done and said that really hurt me. But it's one of those things where I do my best to focus on where they did their best. And, like, also realize that they're not perfect. Like, here's the thing. When I think back to my childhood, I think of a lot of bad things, but then I also think of, like, a lot of ways they did try their best. Yeah, no one's teaching you how to be a parent. Exactly. Exactly. And it's one of those things where I would hope that I try to have, where if I did have a kid, I try to have the patience with my parents I would hope my kid would have with me if I had a kid. You know what I'm saying? Parenting is one of the biggest learning curves in human history, bro. This is why it's one of those things where, like, when people try to force you to have kids and stuff like that, it's like, bro, parenting is hard even when you want to do it. Like, there's literally, isn't there like a subreddit where people are like regretful parents or something like that? People who didn't want to be parents. And they're sitting there being like, I'm trying my best to be a good parent for my children. But my partner kind of like, like twisted my arm into having a kid and now I regret it and stuff like that. It's one of those things where even if you want to be a parent, it's hard. And it's like people who don't want to be parents. It's like, bro. Also, uh... My chat box is broken. No! Chat! Chat box! Chat! Okay, I fixed it. But yeah, it's like... Listen, if you're dating somebody who does not want kids, just be very... Like, listen, if you really want kids and somebody doesn't want kids, don't try to force them into it. They're not going to be a good parent. Well, they might be a good parent, but they're going to hate it the entire time they're being a parent. I fixed it, bitch. I fixed it. We, why we have fur babies and such is a beta program. Yes, yeah, kid now. Exactly, exactly. Listen, it's one of those things where like people are like, people are like, everybody could be a parent. It's like no, everybody is not built to be a parent. Some people are. Some people are not built to be a parent, bro. Some people are not. Some people are not built to be a parent. Abs. I. I 100% agree with that. Some people are not built to be a parent. They can do their best, but let's be a hundred. Some of you guys have told me some stuff, and it's like you guys have had some shitty parents sometimes. I don't want kids I disclose on the first date. Exactly! I- okay, that makes me mad. That makes me mad, Cardboard. When I disclose very early on that I don't want kids and I'm not interested, and they try to lead me on for a while, and then they try to talk me into it later, and I'm sitting there being like, no. I'm fine. I was very upfront, and I'm upset that you were not upfront. It's also one of those things where sometimes people change their mind, and that's okay. It's like I would be understanding if someone changed their mind. But when people just try to talk me into it, and it's like, uh uh, that's not happening. We will just break up. Yes. Yeah, you know, shit said that. I'm so sorry to hear that. I might be fine with adoption. I don't, I have no care to go through the baby phase. I have no care to go through the baby phase. Bro, babies are so. This is another hot take. Babies are so fucking useless, man. They can't even be that funny, usually. Like, maybe they're giggling about something. Bro, babies are so fucking useless, man. I just want to skip to them like, being, like, two or three if I adopt. You know what I'm saying? At least two or three, if not older. Bro, babies are fucking useless, man. So fucking useless. They can't even do shit. Hi, O2. Welcome by. They're, like, so... They're, like, the... Yes, they're the dumbest animals on the planet. They can't even just poop and not have to do anything. Bro, babies are fucking useless, man. So fucking useless. Like, I don't think that harm should come to babies, but, like, I don't want... Listen, don't leave me... Like, don't just leave your baby with me. Just Don't just leave your baby with me. I will call... I will call the cops. Okay? Nobody just leave their baby with me. I will... If you just, like, drop your baby in my lap and walk away, I will call the cops and be like, this person just did child abandonment. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, bitch. That's what I'm gonna do. This person just did child abandonment. I don't care. That's not my child, hi Lacey, yeah, welcome by. Yeah, yeah, great parenting, I know. Dude, I used to go to church and like, 
adults would just like drop their babies in my lap and expect me to take care of them. I remember as soon as they weren't looking, I just put their baby on the ground and just like kind of let it crawl away. And like, maybe that was bad, but it was also one of those things where I would be so upset that they just thought that they could just like put their baby in my lap. And I'm like, and then the parent would come back and be like, where's the baby? I'm like, I don't know. And they'd be like, why aren't you watching it? And I'm like, that's not my job. You're not paying me. And I'm like, it's just over there, probably. It's not my responsibility, yeah. Why would you do that? Why would they just drop their baby in my lap without asking me? Killin', why would they just drop their baby in my lap without asking me? Hi, Nickel, goodbye. Why would they just drop their baby? Take care of your child. Why are you dropping your baby in the lap of, like, a 14-year-old teenager? Why are you dropping, like, listen, I was 14 at the time. Why are you fucking dropping your baby in the lap of a 14-year-old teenager? Why would you trust a teenager with that? Why would you trust, why would you fucking trust a 14-year-old teenager with your baby? Yeah, what's gonna happen? The 14-year-old teenager's gonna fucking put your baby in the floor! Yeah. I was watching dogs at 14. Well, guess what? I was not, I did, listen. Why were they just giving their baby away to you? I don't know, DMX. They would just like, uh, people in the church, they just think that they, for some reason, look at 14 year old girls and just assume that you're responsible enough to just for hand their baby to them and just expect them to care for them for an hour. Like literally at church, like people would be like, just expecting me to care for their baby for an hour. And I made it very clear that like very early on that if you just hand your baby to me, that baby's not gonna be cared after. Like they're just gonna be, they're just gonna be doing their own thing. And people stopped handing their babies to me. It's how it worked. People stopped handing their babies to me. They'd hand it to all the other girls. And I'd be like, I'd be sitting there being like, hi, you wanna hand your baby to me? They're like, no, we're good. It, it worked. I taught them. I taught them quickly. I had to condition them. I had to condition them so they wouldn't hand their baby to me. Yeah, you're a woman. You're Mayfus. Yeah, no, they, that's what they thought at church. That's what they thought. That's what they thought at my church. They were like, you are a woman. You know how to take care of this. And I'm like, I've decided I am women. I do not have, know how to take care of this, though. Yeah, babies are parasites, bro, for real. Guys! I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go unload my laundry machine now real fast because I heard it stop going. Guys, I'm gonna be right back. Give me one minute. Give me, no, actually, give me like five minutes. I'll be right back.
I'm sobbing. I'm crying. Guys, I have ran my dryer twice now. I'm so sure I turned it on the first time, but I was like, maybe I forgot to. Maybe I forgot to. Guys, I know for sure I turned it on this time. I hear it running right now. If it's still, if my clothes still are dry this time, I may have broke my dryer somehow. I just, yes, I double checked the filter. Filter's clean. Yes. I double checked the filter. Filter's clean. Maybe, 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 maybe. <sighs> I that, that. Look. Blah, blah, you don't even stream. Why are you raiding me? Anyways, you're the first raider today, Blah, Blah. Thank you so much. I don't know if it's gas or electric. Do I look like I know things about dryers? Hi, Blue. Welcome by. Hi, Rag Master. Guys, I might have to go see if I can do your beats. Then you get your dry clothes. I'm going to be like one of those ladies that used to sit there and hang up. And hang up, like, hang up all their clothes and shit. Oh, uh, hey, people. People says hi, chat. People says hi, hi. It's really good. You look like a certified dryer specialist. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Let me flip them. Always flip your cat gently. Flip. E. E. Hi, fluffy boy. Say hello to people, guys. I'm going to be like one of those old ladies who sits there and is like, Oh, I'm hanging up my, 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 my clothes on the clothes. Like, hi, chicken, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the hand coil there driving up back to me. We're going to see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I'm gonna like. I'm going to let it run one more time. If it still doesn't dry it, then I'll, 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 I'll figure shit out. I'll have to like. I'll have to. I'll have to call over my brother or something and be like, "Hi, brother. I need help." Hello. So it's now a spin. -a it is now Peepo's roller coaster. It is now Peepo's little roller coaster, boys. It is now Peepo's roller coaster. That's right, Vish. It's a roller coaster for Peepo. It's a roller coaster for people now, boys. Dude, you actually don't have to be careful. Always double check your dryer. If you have cats or dogs, always double check your dryer before running it. Make sure there's no cat inside of it, okay? Make sure there's always double check. Always double check. Or immediately, like with an empty dryer, immediately make sure that like you put your clothes in there and immediately close it. You do not want to accidentally dry your cat. People have actually accidentally done that. Like they'll just keep the dryers open and then they'll just run it and like there's cats in there. Listen, this is so sad. They die. They die if you do that. They die if you do that, chat. Don't do it. No! Listen, don't put me in your dryer, boys. Listen, chat's gonna shove me in the dryer now. Chat's gonna shove me in their dryer now. I just know it. Hi, Demi Laura. Welcome by. Chat's gonna be like, haha, Mooney. It's funny. It's funny. You're going in the dryer. And I'm like, no, chat, no. Don't put me in there. Don't put me in there. No, chat, no. And the chat's like, ha 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 ha. Let me see if I get a PNG of a dryer, actually. Can I find. Why is. Why is. Why is my internet not working? Can you guys hear me? Hello? Hello, chat! Chat, can you hear me? I'm not going goodbye. Hello, yes? Why, why is my... Why is Opera not working? Bro, Opera's not working, what the fuck? Beesh. Beesh, something's going on, Beesh. Let's do dryer. Okay, muted. Shut up, Beesh! Okay, let's see. Can I get one with a window? And can I make it transparent? God, that'd be so funny to just put myself in the dryer. Oh, let's see. Would any of these work? Would any of these work for putting me in the dryer? Oh, there's too much going on. Bro, that'd be so funny to put myself in the dryer. Hi. No sound moon. Yeah, shut up. I can see that it's working. I can see this. People's in my lap right now. He's having a good time. Tried to kill the cat. Oh, no. I hate it when people are nasty to animals for no reason. It's so nasty. Why would you be nasty for animals for no reason, Beesh? Do not put cats in the dryer, please. Thanks. Yeah, the only cat you put in the dryer is me. We've heard a fun little roller coaster time. I am not small enough to fit in the dryer. I am not. Okay, I'm not seeing any good pictures of a dryer that we could put me in. I'm sorry. Guys, it'd be hard to make most of these transparent where I could be in the little window. Maybe that squid was giving me a mean look. You're gonna put a squid in the dryer? Based. I have this small welcome by. Do you know that there's some people? that will cook their food in the dishwasher because the dishwasher gets so hot. There was like a lady on a TV show that like cooked her food, like she'd wrap it up really good and then she'd cook her food in the dishwasher. Hi, Mr. Welcome by. Hi, Ansel. Welcome by. I prefer that fits with the super big bags of part for burlos. Oh, God. But yeah, no, she was like, she like cooked her like lasagna in the dishwasher or something like that. Oh, oh. What if it just tasted like soap? Hi, big pony. Welcome by. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Meowler. Welcome by. 
Extreme cheapskates. Yeah, that's what it was called. Extreme cheapskates. Dishwasher salmon wrapped in foil. Oh, God. Was it fake or no? Was it fake? It had to be fake. They had to be. Because you know that some of so that show are fake. They're over-exaggerated. Pipo's getting his belly pet right now. He's really happy. You know some parts of that stuff is, like, faked. You see the lady that washes her chicken with dish soap. Bro, I'm just gonna sit here and pet my cat's belly while he's, like, sitting, like, belly up in my lap just enjoying this and pretend I didn't just see that. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just see that. Dude, people doesn't know if he's happy or not. Whatever burns like lava, bruh, cook your chicken in that. Let's go. People are insane. Dude, some people, you do not eat at their house. Do not eat at some people's houses, okay? If you find out something weird about some of their cooks, do not eat at their house, okay? There's just some people's houses you don't eat at. You need 160 plus. Lenny la 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 la. There's just some people's houses you don't eat at. The pulsey guys are hard, so every time you think you see it, you think you're trying to hypnotize us. I am I'm trying to hypnotize you to fart, bitch. That's what I'm doing, bitch. People, you got little nipples. Dude, people has little nipples. I'm gonna need you to replace you while with a Tim Allen grunt, please. Ugh. I shake the goodbye. Oh, people's go. I forget that male cats have little nipples too. It's so funny. Hi, people. I'm petting his belly. I'm petting his belly right now. He's getting belly pets. I'm head pets, big boy. Yeah. Def, don't eat at their house. You see a finger in the soup? Oh, God. No, absolutely not. Beige. Fuck no. Don't eat it if you see a finger in the fucking soup, boys. If you see a finger in the soup, get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there if you see a finger in the soup. No fingies in the soup, boys. No fingies in the soup. We're not having soup today, boys. We're not having soup today. No soup for you, no soup for me. No, 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 no. Ma'am, animals have nipples. I forgot sometimes, okay? It's like, I forget. I forget. Because in my head, people's just a thing. People's not a boy. People's just a thing. Hello. People is bigger than Mooney. People is a big cat, but he is not bigger than me. He's sitting in my lap right now getting pets. You guys want to hear him? You might be able to hear him purr. I don't know. Might be able to hear a purr. Oh, he wants to go back down. Mooney is the perfect type of girlfriend I need in my life. Fuck no. I would make your life miserable, bitch. On purpose. I am now gonna purposely make your life miserable. Ah! Anyways, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Annie. Welcome by. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome by. Didge. Dude, people flinched a little bit, and then he just went back to relaxing. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a problem. <laughs> I charged out of my lasers. Why is chat slightly behind? You guys only started reacting to the scream, like, five seconds after I- Like, maybe, like, seven seconds after I did it. Hi, Ivy. Welcome back. Ah, oh, people! People! No, don't fall off my lap! Don't fall off my lap, chat delay. I didn't realize it was that far behind. I know that there's stream delay, but I thought it was, like, three seconds. You were so comedy, thank you. It was shock. <laughs> it says like three six but I I Oh oh I just I just realized it take you guys time to like actually type. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. It takes you guys time to type, that's why. We don't have 5G, do we tap? I have all the 5G. I stole it all from you guys. I stole all the 5G from you guys. How soon do you see this right now, Larry? I saw it like maybe like a second before I acknowledged it. It took me a second to read it. Yeah. Hello? Why are you guys giving me middle fingers? What the fuck? Answer me immediately. Oh, you type. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, DMX! I stole the 5Gs! I forgot that it's like making you guys slower. I stole all the 5Gs, bitch. Frick! Give us back our 5G. No! Fuck you! I stole all the 5Gs. This is on nice chat. Chat! I love stealing your 5Gs. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love hanging out with you guys. I stole your 5Gs, bitch! You don't got none now. It's like 12 5Gs you stole. Hey, 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 hey. I stole my 5G. Oh, look again. You don't. I stole it. I take it my socks. No! Do we have at least one of the Gs? I'll think about it. Maybe like a half a G. Yeah. The 5G ones are important. Shut up, bitch! Shut up. I don't use 5G. What even is 5G? 
<laughs> Look at 16, not giving Mooney. Oh no, not my 5G. Anything but my 5G. It's gone. Who needs 5G so you got LG? Summer Gamer, thank you so much for the gifts. You guys have been. Guy, by the way, guys. By the way, guys, I want to say this real fast. I'm doing fine on money. I just want to make that front. But you guys have been so fucking generous. So incredibly generous, like, lately. Just thank you so much. You guys have been so generous. Guys, I'm fine on money. I'm doing okay. But, like, you know, just, like, you guys, I, I really appreciate that you guys have been so generous to me. Just thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me so much. But it's one of those things where it's like, guys, I also appreciate you guys just be here. You guys just being here, it means the world to me. Hi, Desilee. Welcome back. Hi, Mick. Welcome back. No, no, no. I did not say I need more. I can barely afford rent. Listen, Soul. At that point, I want you to take care of yourselves. Listen, I'm gonna say it again. I've said this many times before. For someone so fucking small, you need a microscope to them. You're gonna watch the stream. I'm gonna accept the second part of that. I'm gonna pretend that I didn't see the first part. Guys, I'm gonna say it like I've said it a hundred times before. You guys just being here, it means a lot to me. And if you feel bad about not being able to give money, listen here, listen, listen, listen. Come close, come close, come here, come here. Come closer, come closer. Actually, do it. Chat. Chat, listen to me. Listen. Even if you don't give me a single cent or anything like that, guess what? You still financially support me, okay? Because you guys just being here means that I could get better deals on sponsorships, okay? It means a lot. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Even if you're not giving me a single cent, you are still helping, okay? You are still helping. You are still helping, okay? Thank you. You are still helping. I just, I just, I appreciate you guys being here so much. I appreciate you guys being here. What's this? Shut up! Shut up, bitch! I'm trying to encourage you. I'm trying to make you guys. Thank you, Mega Star. Thank you for this. Hi, Thunderbeard. Welcome back. Even if you don't give me anything, you are still supporting me, okay? You are still supporting me just by being here. You are still supporting me just by being here. Thank you. There's not, there's no, listen, if, especially if you are low on funds. I want you to take care of yourself first, especially if you're low on funds. I want you to take care of yourself first. Please take care of yourselves first. I just appreciate you guys being here. It means so much to me. Also, I just love hanging out with you guys. Chicken shawarma, does that work too? Oh, fuck yeah. Hi, Big Bean. Get supported, nerd moonified popcat moon. <laughs> you guys are so safe. Thank you, Big Bean. Thank you. There's no money tax. Hi, Joker. Welcome back. But yeah, um, I don't like streamers who sit there and demand money and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, like, people who, like, sit there and demand money. It's one of those things where it's, like, uh, it's one of those things where it's, like, I just, like, if you guys want to give me stuff, I'm happily accepting it, but it's one of those things where it's, like, bro, if you don't have the money to, please do not do it. Please. I do not want you to, like, hurt yourselves. Hello. Hi, Summer Gamer. Did someone say Mooney? I did not! You just started a podcast? Everybody and their mom starts a podcast. Should I really start a podcast? What are I even talking about? I'm gonna become about? a problem! Oh, I swear, thank you! Oh my god, thank you for the five gifts! Was... Chrono, thank you for the hundred bits. There's no tax! Action, thank you, Chrono, thank you. What would I even talk about on a podcast? What would I even talk about? I wouldn't even know what to talk about. I thought she made your podcast. Yeah, it's kind of a podcast with chat. It's not a podcast? I don't know, man. It's basically a podcast with faith. It's true, that's true. That's true. It's true. Streams are part of podcasts, right? It's true. Yeah, no. People tell me I should start a podcast, and I'm like, first off, I want to become a problem. <laughs> Thank you, Sami. Thank you so much for the five gifts. Sus. You're so sweet. Podcast would be what you're doing now. Oh. Okay, so this is the podcast, the Pi Podcast. Um. I. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, mooncast, uh, mooncast.com. I uh, thank you. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm nervous. Hello. Hi. Oh. Oh no. Hi. I dropped these all over the floor. Oh, no! Help me pick them up and you can keep them. Oh, thank Love you, Moon Moon. Thank you, bless you, so sweet. Unionizer scout. No unionization! No unionization, chat. No, 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 no. Hire someone to help edit streams and podcast episodes, bruh. I, 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 maybe. I don't know. The fart cast. Oh, fuck yeah, fart cast, bitch. We discussed the logistics of fucking fart in our pants, bitch. Fart cast, fart cast, fart cast, fart cast, fart cast. Hi, Jumbo, welcome back. Fart cast, hi, people. 
Can I get free cash? Oh, fuck yeah. Let's just give free cash out to people, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna become Mr. Beast, just give out cash to people. Fuck yeah. This podcast is sponsored by Fartcast. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, Silver Owls, thank you so much for the biz. Thank you. Yeah. Shanked ah! by a crab tipped $10. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shank. You're so sweet. Just make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves, man, yeah? Yeah. Oh, let's fart, boys. Let's fucking shit. Let's fucking shit, bees. Fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck I didn't mean it. Wait, doesn't that make it because it's a streamer stream cast? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, name is already taken. Damn. Oh. All the days for podcasts are taking. Like, why would I? I don't know. I, like, would, I, would, my, would my podcast be me and chat as a guest every single time? Just my ch me and my chat. That's our podcast. Me and my chat. There you go. Fucking podcast time, boys. Fucking podcast. Like, literally everybody has a fucking podcast. I don't know. I actually thought about starting one, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. Everybody's got one. It's like, I don't know if I could do anything for it. This extraordinary. Or like, that's like, I, 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 I don't know if I could do anything that's new. I want to become a problem! Best of Mysteria, thank you. Wasting money. Why'd you give a tier three sub to wasting money? Why? Is, is the hype train stuck on level one? Is the hype train stuck on level one? That's hilarious. I hope it stays there forever. Guys, we're never getting past the level one hype train again. Never getting past the level one hype train again, boys. Never doing it. It's not allowed. It's on level two for me. Oh, it's still on level one for me. It's so fucking funny. Hello. Oh, train, take my bits. You guys are so sweet, thank you. Guys, just please remember it's never quite- Oh, if I refresh, it's on level two now. Dude, I think Twitch is breaking a little bit. I think Twitch is breaking a little bit. Scam test. Level two, hello. <laughs> thank you, Andy. Hi, it's tomorrow, goodbye. Dude, I think that- I think that- I think Twitch is slowly breaking a little bit. I think Twitch is breaking a little bit. Is it for breaking for anybody else? Like, because like the chat stopped working earlier. Uh, my replay stopped working. Uh, what is Twitch not switching? They are small indie company guys. They're having a hard time. Be patient with them. They're a small indie company, okay? It's a small indie company. They're doing the best they can, okay? They're doing the best they can. It's a small indie company. It's a small indie. Hi. Reload fixed the hyper train and don't be mean to the poor indie yeah, company don't Twitch. Don't be mean to the poor indie company Twitch. They're a small indie company, okay? Be nice to them. Be nice to them. They're a small indie company. Well, you don't work, you have a poltergeist? Probably. Does the poltergeist make it where my laundry don't work no more? Does the poltergeist make it where my laundry don't work no more? Oh no. Oh no, guys. I'm haunted. I'm haunted. My laundry machine don't work no more. I'm so fucking haunted. My laundry machine don't work no more, bitch. My laundry machine don't work no more, bitch. I need a new laundry machine. With all the money Chad's giving me today, I'll buy a new laundry machine. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. I hope not anyways. Hi, cupcake. Look at my hello. Poltergeist can fuck with laundry. Wait, really? I don't believe in ghosts. Did you even turn on? Yes, yes I did! Them! Twitch small indie company. <laughs> DMX! Thank you. Thank you, Seymour. Thank you so much for the five gifts. Such you so sweet. Thank you. I want to become you. a problem! You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Guys, Twitch is broken and you know what that means. What? I, I don't Bits know. are free. Oh! Pug fish. Pug, 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 pug. Hello. Hi. Hi. Mooney washing machine couldn't handle the stink. No stinky. No stinky. No stinky. No stinky. No Stinky, 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 stinky chat, stinky chat. My chat is stinky. Hi, guys. Oh, my mommy's texting me. I just hate that I just said mommy. Oh, God. That sounded like a little kid. <gasps> I gave her a soccer ball yesterday because I wanted to play soccer at one time last year. And I was like, I got us a soccer ball so we could play soccer at the house sometime. And so they blew up the soccer ball. 
Yay! I'm gonna still have a cowboy hat. Emoji. I'm so happy. They, got, they blew up the second Hi, guy. Welcome by. They'll charge you later, probably. Yeah, they're gonna charge me for the free bits later. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome by. I'm not a little kid. When I was a little kid, I was very interesting, though. They blew up the soccer ball. Exploded. Yeah, it fucking exploded, B. It shit happens. It explodes. Explosion. What's the soccer ball? You speak up on a football. I don't know, sheep, beach. I don't know, sheep. I was cowboy happy. You know the little emoji of the guy smiling with the cowboy hat? You know, hi, Seek, though. We'll go by. People boom. People boom! You're still interesting? Ah, oh, fuck it, beach. Oh, fuck it. I don't think I'm interesting. Hi, Mr. Waffle. I feel like I'm pretty boring, but people seem to think I'm interesting. Hi, you and yeah? Yeah. Hand egg. Give me the egg, bitch! Give me the egg. Give me the egg, Papega, cowboy. Papega. Hi, Lexus. So goodbye. Where's Victor? Dead! For now. He'll be alive again later. We'll bring him back to life. We have to revive the boy. We have to revive the boy. We need to revive my boy, Victor. We need to revive... Belfry, thank you so much for 200 minutes. Thank you. Revive my boy, Victor. Revive the boy. The boy is dead. The boy is gone. I must bring him back. I was so many... I got you. You're wasting money. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, wasting money. They sat there, were joking around. I'm like, you guys are wasting your money. And they sat there and they like gave a tier three sub to wasting money. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No way. Shut up, guys. Stop. You guys need to stop fucking around and finding out. You guys need to stop fucking around and finding out, okay? This is what happens when you fuck around and find out, you fuckers. You fucks. You motherfucks. This is what happens, okay? This is what happens. Are you proud? You're crying. Stop! <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Okay. All right. I can't believe one of these cheese subs actually brought someone a god fucking I'm gonna damn I'm going to become a problem. Why are you? Why did you randomly give to tier three sub? Anonymously! My poor voice. Hi, Abyssal. Thank you for being here. That's not the first time it's happened. Oh, I'm glad to hear that waste of money. I hope you had fun. Fun <laughs> Thank fact, you for being here. Hi. Ghosts aren't Hi, real, but are in fact phantom flashbulbs. Oh! If your brain really expects ghost of old man Jenkins to stand over his grave, uh -huh. your brain will make you see it to resolve confusion. Ah! Hence, Alexa. phantom oh. flashbulbs are really self-fulfilling prophecies. So if you believe in ghosts, you will see them. And if you don't, you won't see them. Makes sense. I guess. I don't know, actually. I don't know. DMX help. DMX help. DMX help. Dude, I don't know what it is. Instagram really liked that video of me doing the horse noise by accident. I don't know why. Boomies. Boomies, bitch! Boomies, boomies, boomies. Hi, everyone. Welcome by. I need to take it. You're coming from my favorite show. Oh! Listen, if I can make y'all's day a little bit better, then that makes me happy. If I can make your day just a little bit better, or at least easier to deal with, then I'm doing my job. That's what I want to do as a streamer. I want to make people's days a little bit better. If I can do that, then I'm happy. If I can make your day a little bit brighter, a little bit easier to deal with, or make you shit your pants, let's fucking go. Hi, Quackle. Goodbye. I'm gonna make you shit your pants, beach. If I believe in anime waifus, will I see them RRL too? Maybe. Just go, just go nuts, boys. Just go nuts, yeah? Yeah. 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 I can't make that noise again. <laughs> that was the no I forgot. I genuinely forgot I had that as a sound alert. I, I, I forgot that I had that as a sound alert. Hey, Lord God, you're so fucking goodbye. Hi, Satan. Oh shit, Satan's here. Everybody behave. Hi. How dare you, Mooney? I've shit my pants at least a few months. I shit my pants every day, bitch. You should get good. Get good. Guys, thank you so much for the hype train. Guys, get good. Shit your pants every day. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beesh, beesh, beesh. No, Miss Faith. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Drum Machine. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Hail Satan. Oh my god, he's Satan. Oh my god. But when we can make your day better, too. You guys do make my day better. You guys make my day better every day, beesh. Yeah. You guys make my day good every day. Hey, I shouldn't chat. I shouldn't chat, bitch. I shouldn't chat. Guys, we just hit like 40,000 followers like a few weeks back. And you guys are already at like like 41,000. Hi. 
pants shitter. Hey, Lord God himself, thank you so much for the 100 bits. You guys are already, like, you guys are following like crazy. We're probably gonna hit 50k before the end of the year. Like, genuinely. Just thank you so much for all the support. Dude, I, I remember that, like, you might tell them? Bam. I remember that, like, last year when I first started streaming in April, I, I remember, I remember, I remember that, like, I was like, it'd be really cool if by the end of the year, maybe I had, like, this averaging, like, maybe a hundred followers. And, like, we're, oh, no, sorry, a hundred viewers. Like, that'd be cool if, like, maybe I was averaging, like, a hundred viewers. And I remember being like, it might not happen. Maybe we'll be around 50 or something like that. Because I was already around, like, 50-ish. I'm like, bro, I, I, I was sitting there being like, oh, maybe we'll average a hundred. Maybe, maybe we will. And, like, you guys show up so much whenever I stream and just- <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to have a moment! Anyways, as I was saying before, you guys show up so much and it means a lot to me. Message deleted. Oh no, did they mention the viewer count? Yeah, yeah, my mods have it where you don't mention the viewer count. Thank you very much if you don't. Um, I get- I have anxiety! Hi, Brian. Welcome by. Hi, Thrawn. Welcome by. Hi, Thrawn. We want to be enveloped by incredible moony energy. Oh, you guys just be voices over there, just like fucking poggin over there. Fucking poggin. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. We all flock to the dirt post. Hey, fuck you, bitch. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Bro, 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 bro. Moony really only streams with four people in a broomstick. Let's fucking go, pog. The viewer account is message deleted. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. But yeah, I have my mods delete any messages with a viewer count because it's one of those things where it's like, bro, I, I keep my viewer count off most of the time because uh, I wanna focus on chat and I'll focus on like, oh my God, we have less people here than yesterday or oh my God, we have more people here than yesterday. I just, I just, wanna, I just wanna sit there and focus on you guys. I just wanna sit there and focus on you guys and just like make sure that I'm giving you guys my attention. Hi Johnny, welcome by. I just wanna make sure I give you guys my attention, not be focusing on like uh, how many people are here, how many people aren't here or something like that. But yeah, I wanna make sure that I'm like sitting there and like, and like just making sure that like, I like extra pizzas in you guys, yeah, yeah. You don't like your ego being stroked? Um, not- uh, I don't really need it. I just like- I kind of just like hanging out with you guys. <laughs> Bro, You're making me gonna take it back! I'm gonna take it back, bitch! I'm gonna fucking take it back. Oh, Moni never finds out we're all in her imagination. I assumed that from the beginning. I assumed that from the beginning. Hi, Rizal. Hi, Rizal. Hi, JC. Look at vibe. Do you have anything planned to celebrate 50,000 followers? Cry. That's the plan. Hi, W. Look at vibe. Hi, Hiki, welcome by. Hi, Fun Boy, welcome by. Hello. Hi, hello. <laughs> why, did, why did you just put Mesh and Selena? Why did they not want to read that out loud? Why did they not want to read it out loud? Why did they not want to read it out loud? I tr trust me, my mods think that shit, that shit like that is funny, I think. I think they think it's funny. They think it's funny. They think it's funny. Literally, my mods only delete stuff I ask them to. <laughs> Bro! Thank you for the 100 bits, Mr. Lead. My mods, like, my mods only delete stuff. My mods only delete stuff that I ask them to. Like, people being sexual towards me or, like, saying sexual things about me. I'm like, yeah, just delete those. I don't want to see that stuff. Thank you for nice. Oh, fuck yeah, beesh. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Listen, it's not a sexual thing. It's a fucking mindset. We're, like, we're, like, mentally naked for nuts. You know what I'm saying? Hi, Lord Osara. Welcome, Vlad. Thank you for being here. No, some ball and tags in Twitch chat. You're saying hand is secretly goes to the mouth. You scroll up and stop checking the elevator. Read the page. Indulging the delights. You soon realize this posse conveys no information. <laughs> <laughs> and Nora is particularly witty or funny that the last you drag your mouse across and C and plus central plus C and central plus B and press enter. <laughs> Hi Todd, welcome by. Thank you for being here. We're all mentally naked for next. Oh fuck yeah, beach. Oh fuck yeah. Oh my god. I've never seen this one before, actually. This one's great. Are you and Nux dating? Oh fuck no. Nux is my dad. You disgusting. I don't want to date my dad. Listen, boys, I don't date and I'm not allowed to reproduce. I don't fucking date. I'm just homie. We all, I'm just homies with everyone. Fucking homie time, bitch. Fucking homie time. We're all just homies here. We're all just fucking homies here. Let's all homie it up, boys. Homie it up, bitches! 
And though hanging out here really does make my day. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Moxie. I'm so glad. You guys are my homies. You guys are my homies. Less horny, more farts. Fuck yeah, bitch! Fuck yeah! Hi, Wolf Gunnel. Goodbye. Homie. Oh, homie. Dang, it's cringe. Bro. Dude, dating can be so fucking cringe sometimes. It's so rough out there, bro. It's so fucking rough out there. It's so fucking right there. Unless you swing the other way and that's cool too. Hey, yo, let's go, boys. Let's go. DMX, you dead? No, DMX is my homie. DMX is my fucking homie, bitch. DMX is my homie. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Does it make Dex our grandpa? Yeah, sure. Dex is not your grandpa. <laughs> boys! Uh, are you ready for homie time? We do kiss homies. Oh, fuck yeah, bitches. You guys want some other good homie kisses? Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Homies. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. What hi. is that? Hi. What is that? I don't is know. Is that a freaking cat? No. Mom. 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 There is a strange cat on my screen. No. It looks like a magical girl, the freaking thing. Oh. I'm not even sure if it's a cat. I don't know. Ma, ma, get the camera, ma, get the camera. It's what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It's a fucking cat, ma. Ma, it's a fucking cat. There's a weird fucking cat outside. There's a weird fucking cat outside, ma, ma, ma. DMX want to teach you what to do and keep rude people like, away from your life, bro. DMX is like my big brother or something, bitch. I don't know. Yeah, we poopy shitty. <laughs> Why did that get held? We poopy shitty for big fart butthole. <laughs> Ah, we poopy shitty big fart butthole, boys. We poopy shitty big fart butthole. You're the ultimate chaos, Sony. A, let's go. Somebody in chat earlier when it's Moody's not dating material. That's cringe. <laughs> fuck yeah! Oh, fuck yeah. Look, yeah. Try finger butthole. Try high millennium. Look, goodbye. Thank you for being here. Ma, there's a weird fucking cat knocking on my window. It's being super fucking parasocial. Chat! Chat, I'm gonna knock on the mic. Chat, chat, are you in there? Can you hear me? Hello? Are you in there? Hello? Hello? Let me in! Let me in! Let me out of your computer! Let me out! Let me out! Hello? Excuse moi. Hi. Are you a hobbit? No. Because I'm taking you to eyes and guard. Ah! Ah! Oh, don't let the cat in, boys. I'm disgusting. Well, I'm disgusting. Let me in! Let me in! Bruh. Hi, chat. Bye, bitch, you're bad, but 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 you're bad. Hi chat. Hello. 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 When you have a nurse breakdown every day in my life. I'm in control of Netflix. No! No! Can you please quiet down? My parents are asleep. Turn the volume down! Beach. Hi, hello, bro. Hello. Hi! Hello, I saw hello. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I That was supposed to be a comfy stream. I literally said crazy in the title, didn't I? The 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 mods change it. The mods change it. No. It literally says comfy, cozy, crazy crime. We're doing crimes today. The crime is me yelling too loud. Hello. Mom, the cat keeps yelling at me to let me in! She keeps making gremlin noises. Let me in! I'm scared. Yeah! Can you be louder so people will wake up and enjoy the stream? Hello! Wake up! It's time to join the stream! I love that you're both chill and max volume in your tags. Yeah, it's both at the same time. We are both chill and loud. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know for what reason, but we do it somehow. When you go berserk, I'll fuck you, bitch. I go berserk. I was just reading fan fiction last night, and I was having a great day. When you were me in class, ADC on uh, drugs. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Oh, fuck it. This is stream. I don't know, Matt. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't know. Are you and Kat still married? I've never been married. I don't know what you're on about, JC. I don't know what you're on about. Hi, Demis Trigger Judge time. Oh, fuck yeah, bitch. Oh, fuck yeah. Bro, I've never been married. I don't know what you guys are asking about my relationship status for. I'm sitting here being like, bitch, I don't know. I'm just a bitch. I don't know shit. I don't know shit. Do I look like I can raise anybody? No! I've been to your wedding. Stop playing. 
I got I uh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm coming out with it now. I'm sorry. I've been I've been listen, boys, I've been holding something back from my life from you. I'm married to Lightning McQueen. Kachow! 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 I'm married to Lightning McQueen Beach. Kachow! Kachow. What's your favorite crime? <laughs> uh 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 farting. Uh is it Lightning McQueen fanfiction? I have read Lightning McQueen fanfiction before. Honestly, it, was, it wasn't the best. People need to get better at writing. But I did get to read it for free. I did get to read it for free, so you know. Can't complain that hard. Can't complain that hard about the free shit, you know? When you get something for free, don't complain about it. I still complained, though, just now. <laughs> so I'm actually not taking my own advice. Oh fuck. I just I just broke my own rule. I complained about free shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Thank you for the lurk. Have a good food. Have a good food. Thank you, 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 thank you. Are you free? No. I am not. I'm streaming right now. I am not free right now. I am streaming. I'm in the middle of streaming. Band plus, oh fuck yeah. Don't complain about winning. Yeah. I'm doing this for I'm streaming right now. I'm not free right now. I'm streaming. I'm in the middle of streaming. Winnie McQueen. Oh, fuck yeah, bitch. Fuck yeah, bitch. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I'm in the middle of streaming. I'm in the middle of streaming. I'm in the middle of streaming these. Oh, fuck yeah. Winnie stream. Fuck yeah, bitch. I'm in the middle of streaming right now. Guys, I'm streaming to a different chat as we speak. Doesn't mean if you're royalty, you'd be Queen McQueen. Oh, fuck yeah, bitch. Time to complain. Yeah. Complain, bitch. Complain. Complain, chat. I want to hear complaints. Okay. <clears throat> this is complaints hour. Okay. This is complaints hour. Submit your complaints in the box right now. I want to hear it. You stinky. Not a good enough complaint. Hi, Lily. Stream isn't loud enough. Not a good complaint. Is it wet outside? Not a good complaint. Cheating us with another chat. Not a good complaint. Too much farting. Not a good complaint. Play box is full. Not a good complaint. Not enough risk. Not a good complaint. Come on. I want parents. Skill issue. Complaints? I think $5 foot low should be $5 fat. You know what? Good complaint. Too much right. Not a good complaint. Not enough right. Not a good complaint. Not a good complaint. Not a good complaint. You're too nice. Not a good complaint. Moon doesn't want to read. Not a good complaint. I think we'll go by. Big tired one go home. Not a good complaint. Not parasocial enough. Not a good complaint. Not enough right. Not a good complaint. Women are so pretty. Complaint. Your microphone isn't good. I need to catch you screeching. Not a good complaint. Not a blaze in my bed. Not a good complaint. Not sticking up. Not a good complaint. Just get back to this other Oh, fuck you. Oh, let's see. Oh, deodorant should be mandatory. Good complaint. My knees are fucked. I can no longer be independent. Complaint. I don't have a good complaint. Not a good complaint. Woody's crust is fading. Not a good complaint. I am wait. I'm a new vanilla ring. Not a good complaint. When he's saying not a good complaint. Not a good complaint. Okay, so if we can't date you, you how much to adopt you? Listen, you are like my babysitter that keeps me entertained a few hours every day, okay? That is what chat is, okay? This is what I've established with chat. You are my babysitter, and you make sure that I don't set myself on fire. That is what we do. Hi, Golden Griffin. We'll go back. See you on the chat. Chat, I love it when you babysit me. I have so much fun. You babysit me. Do we get paid? No. No, you don't. Hello. Mooney dryer isn't working. Is that so good no, enough? No, it's not. No. I don't. My dryer isn't working. My dryer isn't working. My dryer is not working. I don't know what's going on. Neither do I, bitch. Mooney's a pain in the ass. Good! I live to be a pain in the fucking ass, bitch. Listen, I'm gonna set myself on fire, and you are going to enjoy it. Either that or put me out. Hi, Stingy, and goodbye. Listen, I set myself on fire. You make sure that I don't set myself on fire too bad. Okay? Sounds good, Chad? Sounds good? Yeah. I am our cookies like you one sitting. Good complaint. I think I should go buy a sort of milk. Do not leave me for milk! Beesh. Wait, hear me out? Okay, I'm listening. We'll put the fire out after watching for a bit. You would just let me scream and perish! Hi, Reeve, welcome back. Is this a cry for help? Every single one of my streams is a cry for help. Yes. How did you know? 
Every one of my streams is a cry for help. It's true. No help. Help! Help! We'll leave you for cigarette milk. No! Baby, sit! Baby, sit me! Baby, sit me right now! Right now! Help! 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 Fuckers. 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 Fish. 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 Don't swallow me! Hunter, welcome back. Thank you for being your beach. Hello, everyone. Welcome. What do you want? I don't know. I'm like an actual child. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I just know I want something. I want something, please. I want something. Help. 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 I do have a bit of issues. I got issues, boys. I got issues. I got issues, beach. Bro, you good? Oh, fuck yeah. I'm good. I'm good. We're just having fun, beast. Hi. Go watch TV. <gasps> yeah, put a TV in front of me. We'll fucking watch it. And then we'll be good to go, beach. Okay? If that's so good, we'll be good to go. Put me in front of a TV. I think I got jingling shiny keys for Mooney somewhere. Dude, jingle some keys in my face. And I'll be fucking like, oh my god. This is the best thing ever. Write something special below and give us some glizz in chat. Oh, fuck yeah, glizzy baby. We'll only help if you yell more. Bruh, my poor throat. You guys are going to kill me someday. Do you guys want me dead? Is that what you want, chat? You want me dead? Bruh. You gotta buy yarn. <gasps> yes! Stop! Fuckers. Hi, Chassis. Welcome to life. Ba -bee 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 -bee. No, who am I gonna watch this? Exactly, bitch. Who are you gonna hang out with then? Look at that bad. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. Ba -bee -bee -ba. Do check get spray ball water. No! You only want what? 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 Thank you, Lily! You want us to kill you and take a shot every time there's a fart alarm. No! You guys have to watch me and make sure I don't die. Okay, that's what you do. Perchance. Perchance. You guys have to watch me and babysit me and make sure I don't drop I don't die. Bob, the neighbor's yelling again and she getting murdered every day of my life. Hi, Chef Prop. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. Hello. Chat! Do you ever just like... I forgot what I was about to say, actually. Bruh. I legitimately forgot what I was about to say. Like everything just exited my brain. A spray bottle alert would be amazing. That would not be amazing for me! Okay? I don't wanna be spray bottled, bitch. Do not spray bottle me. I am baby, take care of me. Make sure I am well fed. And clean. Did we establish what we should do if we had a baby earlier? Okay, well, I'm, I'm at least like, I don't know. Don't, you, no, don't, don't offend me. Don't put me in the floor. 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 Should we put Coco Melon on? Yes. Put on Coco Melon. Coco Melon, Coco Melon, Coco Melon, Coco Melon. Yes, 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 yes. Put you in the dryer. Do not put me in the dryer. I'm dancing. Let me dance, chat. You want to la la la? Let me dance. Let me dance for a minute. That is inappropriate. Ban that bitch. Fuck you, chat. Fuck you. Get out the fuck out of here. Hi, Siri. Welcome, by. Welcome, welcome. Put you in the dryer. No! Get dancing. That damn kid is screaming at Fortnite again. Uh, bruh, whenever I play Fortnite, I fucking scream like a beach. I don't like, I don't think Rocky back and forth is dancing. This is dancing for me. He lasted for all of eight minutes on stream. Dude, that guy just literally just ran, I think, like the fastest ban we've ever had. Because, like, we usually give people quite a few chances before we just ban them. But that guy got banned, like, within eight minutes, I think. That guy actually got banned within eight minutes. He came in here, started saying weird shit, like, I love you and stuff. And then I was like, okay. That's... Okay, yeah, everybody gets three chances. Everybody gets like three chances. Yeah, I think that actually is a new record. People get three chances in my chat. We get three chances in my chat. Like, I don't like just immediately banning people. I don't like doing that. It's not fun to you and blah, 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 blah. Like, listen, I understand. Hi, you are Brian, welcome back. Listen, I am, no, you guys, okay, like, listen, okay. Toxic, that was their very first time chat. 
they come in going, I love you. And it's like, you don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs> no, I feel you, Reckless. No, yeah, yeah. Listen, okay, listen. Hi, Coroni, look alive. Listen, listen. Everybody gets three chances. It's one of those things. For my second chance, I want a panda. Agreed! Approved! Everybody gets three chances. It's one of those things where it's like, bro, we are very upfront about, hey, people... Okay, so let's, let's be real. A lot of VTubers are very okay with horny comments in their chats and stuff like that. And a lot of them actually sit there and try to lean into it. Hi, Eek, welcome by. So it's one of those things where it's like, uh, it's one of those things where I'm very understanding if somebody comes in and is like kind of being sexual to me at first, we just time them out. One of the mods messages them being like, hey, read the rules, please. It's in the rules not to act like that towards the streamer. Um, and if they keep on doing it, they get timed out a second time. And if they keep it up after that, they're banned. But yeah. Hi, one eye cool, welcome by. We try to give a lot of chances, though. We try to give a lot of chances, because I'm very understanding. I'm very understanding that a lot of VTubers very, 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 very much lean into sexual stuff. And it's one of those things where it's like, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, I understand that, like, uh, like, banned for life. Pretty much. I mean, Jay, if you're given three chances to, like, fix your attitude and, like, like, Jay, we, like, we give a lot of chances. Most people, like, ban on the very first offense, honestly. But it's one of those things where, like, we sit there and, like, they can submit a ban request. They can not submit an unban request. But, like, if you're, if you, if you keep on doing it after one of the mods has already messaged you, being like, hey, that's not how Mooney wants to stream. But, yeah, it's like, um, I don't have any new R34 of me, though. I don't do that kind of stuff now. There's no, there's no new stuff. <laughs> I retired from it. Yeah. Yeah, but also it's like, uh, yeah, it's like literally like if we keep on telling you over and over again, hey, that's not okay in the stream, and they keep on doing it, uh, then yeah, does D's no- wait, wait. Does D's no jokes count as loot? No! D's nuts do not joke and count as loot. It's one of those things where if like, if you like, uh, if it's just like, if it's like, well, it, it also depends on context, too. It also depends on context. Like, context is everything. Like, obviously, if you're telling me I suck your nuts, you're probably gonna get timed out. But if it's just, like, an actual D's nuts joke, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Wasted rule 34 potential. Honestly, 5k? I was miserable doing that stuff. So, actually, it's not a waste because I'm actually happier now. Hi, Michael, like, goodbye. I was miserable doing that shit. I'm happy now. I'm happy! I get to hang out with chat and just be myself, and I don't have to pretend to do you're anything. You're stuck with me Hello. Now. Retired I... calls old grandpa. Thank cat. you, Shippa. Thank you. Thank you. The cross to finish like a running. Exactly. Exactly. I'm asexual, so I actually don't care about horny content at all. I literally only did it for money. <laughs> and now I just, I now I actually get to be myself. Hi, Kira. Look at Happy Moonies. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave it up to the people who actually like to do that stuff. The people who actually like to do that stuff, they can do that. Yeah. Yeah, it may sell well, but I shouldn't have fun life. Dude, it fucking sucked. It, like, was not really fun. Well, Miss, you're tired. Never. So, Mooney is money sexual? Yes. I just want money. You want me? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm asexual. I just really don't care about this stuff. Hi, D-Bug. Hi, Spartan. Look at Like, literally, like, um... Like, literally, I just I just want to hang out with chat and just do my own thing. And people who are actually into horny stuff, they can make that stuff. Like, there's plenty of people out there who can, like, make that kind of content I used to make. And, like, they'll be, they'll do even better because they'll actually be, like, passionate about it. Unlike me, who only did it just because I made money. It's for the money. I'm gonna take care of Wednesday. Thank you! Thank you. People, I kind of see, see it like this. People who are sad that, like, I retired from it, I don't really care. I don't give a fuck, man. They can be sad about it. I don't give a shit. I'm so much happier. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I actually have people who like me now for me. Dude, I could not have any... It was so hard to have friends back when I did that content. Because you never knew who was actually your friend and who just wanted to, like, try to get into your pants. Like, literally, I would have, like, a friend for a year who had been nothing but respectful towards me. And then they would, like, really just try to get into my pants and stuff. And I'd be like, bro, I told you over and over again that I'm just not interested in that stuff, like, at all. And it's like, I didn't have many real friends during that. And I'm just so much happier now because I actually have real friends. Like, genuinely, I actually have real friends now. We love Mooney Purushi now. Thank you, Waffle! I didn't think people would ever like me for me. I thought they'd only like me if I leaned into that stuff still. But I actually have people who genuinely like me for me now. I am lactose intolerant. Maybe. And it, I do shit a lot. Hi. So is there a way to see how big the Mitzi retirement fund is? 
Mm, it's getting bigger. I'm here for money. Let's go. Like me, I have a love of shy quest. Yes. Yes. I think you're cool. I think you guys are cool. You guys are the best. I keep a grandma. Thank you. Uh, guys, I appreciate y'all so much. You guys are the best. You're my homies. Hi, Sean Tunes. Look at my. Hello. I actually prefer Gremlin Mooney over Sexual Mooney. Yeah, when I first started streaming, I leaned into it more because I thought that's what you had to do. Hello. We don't want to get in Mooney's pan. Yeah! We are actually trying to finally get out. Yeah! Living with Pocket Lint is no fun. Get in my pocket, bitch! Hi. Welcome by. Is Chad need a pet Mooney Mooney? Oh, thank you. Uh, wait. What does it say? Who's Mitzi? That's my cat. My cat is Mitzi. My cat is Mitzi. My cat is Mitzi. That's my kitty. That's my kitty. Hello. Only homie talk to horny. Exactly. Anyone who's horny could just get the fuck out, please. I mean, like, I don't care. Listen, being horny is a normal part of life for some people. It is a normal part of life for some people. Not everyone. But, like, it is a normal part of life for some people. But there is places to engage in it in appropriately. And there are places where it's not, okay, where it's not, like, appropriate to engage in it. Here is not an appropriate place. I make it very clear that I don't want it because I, I don't act that way. I don't try to encourage people being horny towards me. Um, I, like, I, I, there's even a rule about it. And it's, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, there are Twitch streamers who are very happy to engage with you like that. I am not one of them. So yeah, people just, people, but I think people mostly try to like do it towards streamers who aren't very horny because they think it's funny to sit there and try to like act like that. Try to act like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonky emote where though? I have a bonky emote for bonking chat. The important thing is that you do whatever makes you happy. I'm so happy, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever considered reducing your model's assets? Cause it well, here's the thing, Shanked. A lot of women have bigger boobs. Like, what's wrong with big boobs? And it's also, like, when I did get the the, uh, the other outfit made, like, uh, I don't know. It's, like, I, I did get it because, like, I thought that's the kind of outfit you made. But, like, uh, a lot of my a lot of my newer outfits don't accentuate the boobs at all, really. Yeah. I, we're actually getting a little cat plushie made. Also, I don't think that people should just, like, be, like, just because your model has boobs that you have to, like, sit there and be sexual. It's, like, bro... Every, like, everyone has boobs. Men have boobs, women have boobs. Like, everyone has boobs. Just some boobs are bigger. Hi, Christfire. Thank you, Christfire. Thank you. Like, listen, everyone has boobs. Men usually don't have big boobs, but women sometimes have really big boobs. Yeah. Yeah. My boobs are very nice. You do have nice boobs. Listen, chat, you have the nicest boobs and boobs. The best. The best boobs and boobs. The best boobs and boobs. Dude, I genuinely, listen. Some of the shit that I hear Chibi Doki goes through, and Chibi Doki has the least sexual model I've ever seen in my life. Chibi Doki is literally a Chibi streamer. She literally has a streamer that is not, she literally has a model that is not sexual, has zero boob. The amount of shit that her mods tell me about, like literally, it does not matter if your model is covered head to toe in a garbage sack and there's nothing showing but your face. People will find a way to sexualize it. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Swifty. Welcome by. Listen, people will find a way to sexualize everything, so you might as well have a model that you're happy with. And, like, listen, I like boobs. I think they're cool. I think I think it's cool. It's one of those things where it's like, they're just cool. I don't see them sexually. I just think they're cool. But it's one of those things where it's like, bruh, I just think they're cool, so I'm gonna have my model have boobs because I think they're awesome. When the right one asks women to make their boobs smaller, bro, like literally, it's like really weird when people are like, why don't you make them smaller? I understand what they're saying though, Simaro. They're saying like, if you don't want people to make comments about it, then like you should probably make your boobs smaller. But it's one of those things where it's like, I, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm very understanding when people make sexual comments towards me. I'm very understanding about it. We give people a lot of chances. But it's just one of those things where it's like, I just ask them, and my mods ask them very, very nicely, being like, hey, please don't be like that towards me. Thank you. But yeah, say a lot of people like, yeah, little J, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are very, we ask very nicely. We're like, hey, I know that one of my outfits shows a lot of booba. I understand that. I like the outfit though. I think it looks cool. I think it looks badass. But it's like, it's just one of those things where it's like, bro, I just want to exist and hang out with my chat. And let's be a hundred. A lot of people will click on a thumbnail of a stream because there's some booba showing. So it's also good for clicks, you know. 
Yeah, but like, people say, but like, if you have a problem staying not horny because of big boobs, then why not chop off your pee pee? No! <laughs> no! Thank you, thank you. Uh, no. <laughs> clickbait, clickbait. Boba kiss, kiss, no. Why not add the ASA sexual attack? Wade, I would love to. Um, unfortunately, um, hi, Chicken Bear. Unfortunately, having anything about LGBT in your tags gets you hate rated a lot. So I just don't have those just to make it easier for my mods. Listen, my mods already have enough of a hard time with people just like, with people just coming in and being nasty. I do not want to sit there and make it even worse for them. I don't want to sit there and make it even worse for them. Hi, Murky Boy, what's up? Yeah, no, people do that. People, yeah. And it's just the thing where it's like, I don't, it's it's one of those things where it's like, we already have enough people come in because like I'm growing as a streamer. And I just want to make, I just want to make, I just want to make things as easy for my mods as possible. Hi, Shifty, look up, hi. Hi, how you doing? We're doing good. I'm doing good. How are you? I didn't expect that to be as honest. No, it's, it's one of those things. You need praise mods too. Mods are everything. Hi, Poppy, look up, bye. Yeah, no, um, pe people got hate rated for playing HL. What's that? Oh, is that Hogwarts Legacy? I, I, I don't care what somebody is doing, whether I agree with it or not. Um, it's one of those things where I don't think hate raids and sending people death threats is ever okay. I don't care. I don't, I don't like any of it. I think it's never, I think, yeah, you guys can call me stinky. I like, I like being called stinky. Hi, hey, welcome back. Listen, listen, listen. I hate raids and sending people death threats. I don't care what the person has done. Never okay. Never okay to do. Guys! I'm gonna go see if my laundry actually dried this time. Wish me luck, because I've tried twice now. I've tried twice now. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right the fuck back.
Thank you, Steam Morrow. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Guys, I I fucked up. I had it set on air dry the whole time. I had it set on air dry. That's why it wasn't working. I forgot. <laughs> Bruh! But I had to go. So, oh. how about the air slash? I don't want to talk about it! This is why I'm not wife material! This whole stream is just Moody trying to do laundry. Yes! I'm trying to get shit done, Beach! Thank you for the streets for partying so much. No, Beach! I like that it's a highly level. Oh, Goodbye. I had my. Yeah, I fixed it! I tell him hello! You are technically LGBTQ plus Mooney since you're ace. Uh, okay. LGBTQ plus stands for all non-straight orientations and identities. Cool! The plus sign is supposed to be a catch-all for all the various sexualities that aren't uh -huh. covered by the LGBTQ abbreviation or aren't yet identified or commonly known of. Uh -huh. You can safely use the tag without scamming, okay? I'm work. Hello. I trust you. Hello, chat. Have you been nice to the small stinky cat? No, they were bullying me. Don't bully her too much. Without me. L L L L L L L L L L. I lost. What do you mean? Two was even listening. I already knew all that. No, it's okay. Saved. It's okay. No, the issue isn't that I think I'm gonna be scamming. The issue is that people are nasty to people under the LGBT like the the umbrella, and so yeah, somebody called you trying to screw up from the beginning, and it wasn't gonna work. Reckless, no! Reckless! Yeah, hate raids. People said hate raids to anybody with the uh, any tags that are LGBT. The uh, the LGBT like the like the lights that you have up in your room, the LGBT lights. Yeah. Yeah, 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 just because they have the tag. Yeah, that's. I just, I just don't want my mods to have to deal with that. I don't want my mods to have to deal with that. Also, it's one of those things where like, I don't care if people know that I'm that or not. Oh, it's okay, Shake. It's okay. It's okay. I was sitting there like being like, what, what, what are they? What's the point? What's the point of this? I. Okay, let's go. The, the LGBT lights that you have up in your room. The LGBT lights that you have up in your room. You know those? You know those room? Those lights that you have up in your room. The LGBT lights. I like those lights a lot, hi Cam. But no, I appreciate it. I, if I had been confused, I would have really appreciated that. I was just sitting there being like, I don't understand the point of this message, but I appreciate it, but thank you. Like it, like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. Hello. Hi. Hi, Steven, no can lie. Yeah, no, haters be hating, dude. Dude, bro, some people get so, people don't know the stream and they just see the tag as a hate message. Exactly, Coleman, exactly. It's also one of those things where like, I am the part of the LGTV community. I have the LGTV the LGBT lighting, the LGBT lighting setup, boys. Let's get the LGBT lighting set up. Let's go. It's one of those things where there's also a reason that, like, uh, I didn't really say much about the Hogwarts legacy thing. It, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, it's just one of those things where it's like people just wanted to, like, use that situation to send a lot of hate. Both sides. I, I honestly feel like both sides use the situation to send a lot of hate to each other. Um, hi, Ayo. Goodbye. Listen, I personally didn't play the game. I didn't have a reason to play the game in the first place. I never watched anything about Harry Potter. I never read the books. And so it would have been weird for me to pick it up anyways. You know what I'm talking about? It, it would have been weird for me to pick up the game anyways. But, like, uh, I think the entire situation just got out of hand. I, I, Yeah, the entire situation really just got out of hand. I didn't play it. I didn't care to play it. It's just one of those things where it's like, I think it's weird that... I think it's weird that some people picked it up just to spite people. I also think it's weird that it's like people, some people were telling people what they can and can't do. It's one of those things where it's like, I never tell people what they can and can't do. It's like, uh, I just like, it's one of those things where it's like, I understand people who don't want to play it, but yeah. Yeah, just slash on them. Yeah, it's just a weird situation. It's also one of those things where I completely understand it. Like, um, I completely understand it. It's not cool. I, I, I am a, okay, here's my opinion on things. I will never be mean to someone just because they're trans. It's like one of those things where it's like, I don't care if you're trans or not. Are you a good person? That's all I care about. That's all I care about. I don't care if you're trans or not. I just want to know if you're a good person. That's all I care about. If you're a good person, I'm cool with you. If you're cool, I'm cool with you. If you're nice, I'm cool with you. That's just how I feel. If you're gay, if you're, if you're nice, I'm just cool with you. If you are just, if you're straight, if you're nice, I'm cool with you. 
I just, I like to judge people on who they actually are and not their labels or anything like that. I just wanna like, I just wanna care about people for who they fucking are. That's all I give a shit about. Um, I do think that, uh, the way that, what's her name, JK Rowling or something like that? I think the way she acts is kind of nasty. I'm not a big fan of her. Yeah, hello. Mooney. Hi. Bullies me every day. You bully me Mooney every day! Bartley. I don't know how I feel about, like, all the situations involving everybody. It's one of those things where I feel kind of weird when people say, Oh, they made Pika me go away. Oh, they did this. Oh, they did that. Um, it's also one of those things where it's like, I don't like it when people are like, Oh, this, the one side of the community did, did, did this. I don't like it when people say, Oh, one side of the community did that. I, I, I think that there's like, I think there's like players on all sides that are just like, kind of like, not the nicest people. And it's like, they kind of make both sides seem worse. And it's one of those things where you gotta kind of like, you can't just like, just because like your favorite streamer may have like done something that you didn't like because of like the community, you shouldn't hate the whole community just because like Pick and Me stopped streaming. It's not one of those things that you should do. You shouldn't hate a whole community. It's one of those things where it's like, some people are just nasty and it's like, some people aren't. And it's like, don't be, don't be mean to the people who aren't nasty. People stand on both sides of these extremists. Exactly, I'm not a big fan of extremists, hello. Cheer 100, cheer 100 liters plus Mooney plus pink cat plus stinky <gasps> plus laundry <gasps> plus long dryer program <gasps> plus bullied by cat <gasps> plus farting. <gasps> I get it, welcome by. Yeah, no, it's one of those things where it's like, um, I'm not, yeah, no. It's one of those things where it's like, it's one of, yeah, I, I, I do want to point out too. Pikmi was already planning on graduating. That's another thing too. I don't, I don't think, like, here, I'll say it like this. As someone who streams, it would make me feel real, I would feel horrible if, I would feel horrible if, I was already planning on graduating and then like uh and then people decided that a group of people was the reason that I was graduating when I was already planning on it. I would feel really bad and I think that Pikmi's fans would like not want I think Pikmi's fans don't understand that Pikmi probably doesn't want that. It's one of those things you just got to do like you, you as a community, you represent the streamer. You know what I'm saying? Like I know for me personally, if you guys decided to like take up a cause for me and then you started Sending hate to like, uh, if you started sending hate to people who like cheese, I would be really sad. I'd be like, why are you guys doing that? Let's, let's, let, listen, let's not send hate to people who like cheese. Let's not send hate to people who like cheese. There's no reason for that. Let's just hang out and we'll just chill out. There's like, I don't, as, as someone who does stream and is a content creator, I never want to be the reason that anybody ever gets hate. Of course, I'm a little bit different than most other people. I just, I, I personally, I just do my best in situations. I just don't, I, I don't want to ever like, I don't ever want to promote people who ever uh, are people that I are doing things that are not very nice. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, what happened? Did my internet cut out? Am I here? Am I alive? Hello? Can you hear me, chat? Chat? Am I oh, you hear me. Dude, dude, my internet's being weird. My internet's being weird. Okay, so I. this is my opinion. This is my opinion on things. If you guys want to hear my actual opinion, you guys want to hear my actual opinion, I never want to be the reason that somebody gets hate. I don't care what they- I don't care what they've done. I don't care. I don't care how nasty they've been to me. I don't care. I don't care anything about that. I've had so many people in this community be really nasty to me, and you guys will never hear about it. You guys will never fucking hear about it. In fact, if you guys do hear about somebody being nasty to me, I'm gonna be upset about it. I would rather you guys just not know that that person was nasty to me. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I just I have people on my stream, and I try my best. To, like sometimes I'm stuck. At, sometimes I put into collabs with people that I don't necessarily agree with. And that's fine. If I, I might just be trying to like sit there and collab with like a single person on that collab and because they're my friend and they'll have other people on that I just do not agree with and that's fine. But sometimes also, um, I do my best to just like not collab with people that I don't think are good people. I do my best. I do my best to just only collab with people that I see as genuinely good people and that are trying their best to be good people. If that makes sense. Hi, I still welcome by. I still just said my friends, why can't we treat political immunes like tasty music? Um, no, it's one of those things too, where I understand wh why people can't treat political opinions. Some, some, okay. Some quote unquote political opinions 
are should not be treated like uh like it takes the music because some quote unquote political opinions are I don't think that trans people should be able to live and just have a life. Um again, once again, I am a person who says let people live as they want. And it's like, bro, if if like if like a person just wants to be trans, it's like, bro, you're not affecting me in any way. Why would I tell you you can't? I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You're just living your life, bro. Or sis. Or whatever you're, like, transitioning into. You're just living your life. I fucking support you. Cool. Exactly. I fucking support you. You're just living your life. You're just living your life. But if somebody goes, I think all trans people should die. I'm like, oh, fuck it. That's not a political opinion at that point. But some people see that as a political opinion. To me, that's not a political opinion. That's just being hateful for no reason. Yeah, some opinions are just straight up as people die. Exactly, exactly. Listen, my opinion on things is, I just want people to be able to like get get uh get like make decisions for themselves. And as long as it's not like something where like it's affecting somebody else, I don't give a shit. Like, listen, if you're not hurting anybody, then I don't give a shit. You live your life, bitch. Hi, Sal. Goodbye. Many topics are pl made political should be political. Oh, big agree. Big agree. Big agree on that. I am 100% for people being able to live their life how they want as long as they are not being like, uh, as long as they are not hurting anybody else. Yay, yeah, streamers are socialists. I don't even know what that means. I just want people to be able to live their life and like, just be able to like, do what they want as long as they're not hurting anybody. Hi, Laid. Welcome by. Hello. But it's one of those things where uh, in my streams, we're never going to support any hate towards uh, like a group of people who are just living their lives. It's also one of those things where like some people aren't just living their lives. We should pay more money in Texas. No, that is political. None of that, bitch. None of that. What's the matter? Hey, what the hell is the matter? What's the opinion between a person's legs? Exactly. I don't give a shit what's between a person's legs. I want to know. Are you nice? That's all I give a shit about. That's all I give a shit about. It's like, I don't care if you guys are men. I don't care if you guys are women. I'm just happy that you're here and hanging out with me. That's all I give a shit about. I just want to hang out with you. That's all I care about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what's between your legs. I don't give a shit what, what you've got going on in your life right now. As long as you are here and being nice. I'm just happy that you're here. I'm also on a rant right now, guys. So if you're saying stuff in chat and ask me questions, it's like, bro, I'm non-binary. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Anybody? Listen, Wall Rider, I'm just going to be 100. I have people with all sorts of different opinions. Hi, Shank. Thank you so much, Shank. Thank you. <laughs> How are you a bullet train? I'm a cat. Why are you farting, bitch? Why are oh. you buying things for random cats? Why are you buying me things on throne? Thank you. Hello. The real question, Mooney, are you human or a cat? On the internet, I'm a cat. In real life, I am a grill. I'm a grill. Hello. Hi, Dr. Moots. Welcome by. But yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, I, I don't like it when people come into my streams and they assume that, like, I'm gonna be hateful towards somebody. I feel like anybody who comes to my streams for even just an hour can kind of understand that I'm I'm the kind of person that just I just want people to be able to vibe and as long as they're not hurting anybody I don't give a shit what they got going on I just I just want everybody to live their best life as long as they're not hurting anybody but like some people assume I'm gonna like be agreeing with them and be hateful towards people but it's just like you're they're not hurting anybody so why would I be like hateful it's like some people are like oh gay people are like making things hard and it's like how are they making things hard how? They just, they're just over there existing. They're just doing their own thing. Hi, Deadhead. Welcome by. IRL Mooney is George Foreman Grill confirmed. Yes, I'm George Foreman Grill. I'm doing good, you'll see. Are you propane or charcoal grill? I am propane grill. I want to use gas. I got gas, gas, gas. I'm just this. I feel you hard for. Dude, I just like, I just don't want to give a fuck about anything. I just want to hang out. That's all. Imagine judging someone without even see, knowing them or seeing them for the first time. I know, right? I'm gassing it up, boys. Bro, I just want to hang out. That's all I give a shit about. I hate new user syndrome, but that I mean no badges. Oh, no. Hi, Lauren. Okay, bye. Propane and propane accessories. Yeah, I got propane accessories. I fucking fart and shit my pants daily. I fucking fart and shit my pants daily. But yeah, it does make me sad when people, like, uh, just, just come into my chat and, like, are just being nasty. And it's like, what about me made you think that I would I would agree with you? I don't know. I feel like I feel like some people just want a group to blame for what they think is wrong with the world. I agree. I agree. I don't want to blame anybody. It's like, uh, it's. I just I just want to be kind. I just want to be kind. 
I just want to be nice, and I just want to treat people how I hope to be treated. I want to treat everyone around me how I hope to be treated. I have 20k points on your channel by lurking. You're a good streamer. I don't care how you do it, as long as you're a good person. Exactly! Yeah. People are wild. Dude, I think most of us are sane. And most of us just don't give a shit about, like, anything other than if a person's nice. It's maybe, like, 10% of people that are, like, really loud and be like, I hate that you're like this because you're this. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think most people just, like, just want to be nice. Hello. Oh, look. It's my favorite grill. Yeah. Mooney. Better warm it up. Yeah. You're small and stinky. No! There. Now it should be flaming. Shut Time up! for the burgers and hot dogs, ah! guys. Peepo oh. happy, hot dog. Angie. 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 The wild ones are always last. It's true. The loud ones are the loudest. Yes. You also have to remember, guys, the nasty people are usually going to be the loudest ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's some weird takes on stuff, but at the same time, I don't give a fuck. It's weird. Exactly. Be nice to people if they're nice to you. Be an ass if they're nasty to you. Lauren, my life motto is similar, but a little bit different. I'm nice to people if they're nice to me. And I kind of just, like, disengage if they're me if they're an ass to me. I just, I really don't, I don't get any joy out of being an asshole to anybody. I don't care if they're even being mean to me. I don't get joy out of being an ass to an asshole. It's just one of those things where it's like, I just don't want to be around them. I just want to avoid them. I don't want anything to do with them. Their energy makes me want to puke, you know what I'm saying? I just, like, I don't want anything to do with them. This is in the chat. Chat! You guys are the highlight of my day. Avoid the negativity. Exactly! Exactly! It's like, how much does the videos are telling us? Yes, yes. It's one of those things where negative things are gonna happen. When I say avoid the negativity, I don't mean never talk about negative subjects. This is like, this is technically a negative subject. But it's good to talk about. But it's good to talk about in a way that is, like, prov like, uh, um, adding to the subject. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, listen. Hi Ace you know. Click, welcome by. Moonified button mash, 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 Constructive! 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 Whatever person is a not safe for work artist, I don't give a shit. 5k, a lot of my friends are not safe for work people. I don't give a shit what somebody does as long as they're not like hurting nobody. Hi Jeremy, welcome by. Listen, again! It's just like anything else. I don't give a shit. I just want to be treated nicely and I want to treat other people nicely. Weird is the new normal. Also, my asshole people I know because friends are assholes to one another. Oh, fuck you. When you used to cry for the internet. Nah, I just... I just like... I feel like a lot of people are like me. It's just that like a lot of people want to focus in on the negative. I feel like a lot of people are like me, but they just don't usually get the amount of attention I get. Like they usually like... Because like, let's be... Let's be real. I don't think drama gets you a lot of clicks, but like... It does get you some clicks, and it does get you kind of discovered. People who lean into drama usually do get a few more clicks, but it's not positive clicks, if you know what I'm saying. It's not positive clicks. It's, like, clicks that are, like, oh, this person's, like, a train wreck. Let's watch them. But, like, negativity, it does get you clicks and stuff. And it does, like, uh, uh, oh, Professor Mysteria, that's a perfect excuse. Yeah, no. What about not safe for work people? Were you friends with them? Me knowing Cottontail is one of the reasons Mooney was streams. Yeah, Cottontail VA is actually one of the reasons I'm streaming because she told me that I'd be good at streaming and people would like me. Yeah. Drama gets some clicks, but it's never good in the long run. Yeah, it just makes people watch you to see what else will happen with you. But it's one of those things where it's like, it does get you some clicks. Um, But it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, bro, a lot of people, it's really hard to get noticed. It's really, really hard to get noticed. And it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like a lot of people are like me, it's just harder for them to get noticed because they, they just don't want to interact with the nasty stuff. And unfortunately, that's how a lot of people get noticed these days. There's quite a few streamers that are like me that just want to focus on doing their own thing and not really sit there and like, uh, not really sit there and just focus on the negative and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Or like, uh, a lot of, it's just like, it's just one of those things where unfortunately, this is, this is a, how do I say this? This is a, this is a, this is a community where, this is a community where there, there is some benefit, unfortunately, in stepping on, using others as step stools. There is some benefit in using people as step stools, unfortunately. Um, hi Ruby Flash, thank you. Um, yeah, it, it 
Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah, and so the people that are usually- some of the people that are bigger, it's because they use- they just use other people. If that makes any sense. Hi, Camp Puff, welcome by. But yeah, it's like, unfortunately, a lot of people who do get bigger, it's because they use a lot other people. Like, not everyone! A lot of bigger people are very nice. Very, very nice. But like, you know, there are some people who just did get big because they use people as step stools and stuff like that. And it's not- it's not cool. And it's not nice, and it's just one of those things where you just gotta find the real people and just focus on them and just like not worry about the other people. Just don't even worry about them. Just don't even just don't even worry about them. Just focus on you and focus on what you're doing. Some people have a sense of humor that entirely works around putting others down. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Markiplier is nice too. He seems so nice. He seems so high at the mechanic. Welcome by. Hi, Aerie. Welcome by. But yeah, guys, I just want to be the kind of person that uh. I just want to be the kind of person that I would be proud to- that I'll be proud to be when I'm older, if that makes any sense. I want to- I, I just do my best to live my life in a way where I- but I'll be- I'll be more- I'll be proud of myself when I'm older. Yeah. Bad beep beep. When it got me on VTubers YouTubers concepts realization, it allows people a way to stream without risking their lives. Exactly! Exactly. There's nothing wrong with growing because of your friends as long as you still acknowledge them. Yeah! And it's also another thing, Professor Wisteria. I've- <sighs> Professor Wisteria, that is 100% true, but I've also had the issue of, um, I've also had a big issue with some of my smaller friends that unfortunately have treated me badly after I've gotten bigger because like I'm, I'm more busy now, I got a lot of stuff going on and some of them have gotten mad at me because I don't have as much free time as I used to and some of them have legit- Hi Zane, welcome by. When you're older, you don't care anymore. Yay! Like, Wisteria, like, unfortunately, the thing is, is that, like, some of my smaller friends, like, and they're doing great. They're doing fantastic. I'm, like, really proud of them. But it's, like, some of them have been, have, like, I, I'll, I'll, I'll not see a DM from them. And, like, I'll try to help them out with something. And they'll be, like, you're not a good friend. You used me to grow. And I'm just sitting there being, like, I, I just didn't see a DM from you. I'm really sorry. And I don't. I don't, I don't correct them because I don't feel like correcting them at that point. They're they already have it made up in their mind that I've screwed them over. You know what I'm saying? They've already had it. They already have it made up in their mind that I've screwed them over. So I'm kind of just sitting there being like, I'm really sorry that I made you feel that way. Um, I can promise you that that's not what I meant to do. It's just one of those things where it's like I have a hard time responding to the text. Uh, but hey. I understand that I made you feel bad, and I'm really sorry. And I've had some of them actually tell me they don't want to be friends with me anymore and stuff like that. They're like, you just don't feel real, and I'm like, I I'm very sorry. But it's just one of those things where it's like, it's not on purpose that I just didn't see the text. It's just like, bro, I'm really bad at responding to people. I'm sorry. I have barely any free time to even just relax sometimes. Yeah. Can't imagine anyone call for giving me a hard time for being successful. It's one of those things. It just it be. I I do. I actually have now two K DMs that I've not opened, and I have DMs turned off for people who aren't friends. Ah! Hi, Andre boyfriend. Welcome by. Oh God. And I've also I've had I've had smaller friends too, who I'll invite to collabs. I see J. I've had smaller friends too that I'll invite to collabs. And then they'll get upset at me afterwards. And I'm like, I was trying to promote you. And they've gotten upset at me afterwards. And it's really upsetting. Like, they'll get upset at me afterwards, like, for random stuff, like, that is very normal in collabs. And I've legit cried after some collabs because I've helped, been trying to help out some people. I'm not gonna name any names. And it's like, I just, like, I've cried after some collabs. And I know... It's one of those things, it really sucks because you know that they see me disengaging from them as me just getting big and like just blowing them off now that I'm big. But what they're not going to understand is, is the reason why I'm starting to disengage from them is because they've had moments where I've tried to help them and they've gone off on me and I'm like, I don't know how to interact with you. I don't know how to interact with you if you're going to be nasty to me when I try to help you out. But yeah. Hi, Saint. Welcome by. Very bad at responding to text. No, I'm really bad at text and stuff. Yeah. I thought Mooney was small. No! Yeah. I, I just know. I, like, I, I'm... 
<laughs> yeah, it just sucks. It just sucks. It be what it be, though. You just do what you can to focus on the people who are nice, though. When he's very small. No! Not small. Nah. Hey, thank you. Mm. Yeah. You're better off without them. It's just one of those things where I'm nice to everybody. Hi, Whispers. One of a new YouTuber streamer with almost no views reach out and ask for a collab. Um, if I don't know them at all, definitely not. It's one of those things where I have, I like, I host a tournament like once every month or every two months where I f focus on br like bringing in like a good portion of like newer streamers or smaller streamers. Um, like, let's just be, a, let's, let's be for real for a second. Collabs don't do good on me. The collabs don't do good on my channel. Collabs don't do good on my channel. So I, I don't usually do too many collabs because they don't do good. Unless like the person, like they just, you guys, you guys are here because I interact with you guys. You guys are here because I interact with you. It's really hard to interact with you guys whenever like I'm doing collabs and stuff. That's why I don't do too many collabs. Um, I, probably the best way if you were very small and very new and have never interacted with me to do a collab with me is to sit there and apply to be in my tournament. So it's probably the best chance you're gonna have. Hi, a -Z, Because I specifically try to focus on uh, bringing in some new people. Um, other than that, it's one of those things where if you've never interacted with me before, it's not gonna be that... I why would I respond to somebody that's never interacted with me before and the very first interaction with me is them asking for a collab? You know? It's like I've never seen them in chat. I've never seen them respond to any of my tweets or anything. I only have so much free time. I, it's like, if I don't know the person at all, then like, yeah, probably not. If I know the person a bit more, I don't know. Maybe. I also, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, it's hard. It's one of those things where like, <clears throat> sorry, lose my voice, hi, Bonic. It's one of those things where like, you don't wanna have somebody on your channel that you've never interacted with before because you're sitting there and you are pretty much saying, hi, I approve of this person and you don't know if that person's a good person or not. Getting a live reaction out of a person is one of the great biggest features of streams that check people too. Yeah. I'll just ask you to collab with people so you know how to do it. Yeah, you can, absolutely, absolutely. Hello, Mooney, I've never seen before and I don't know you, but you want to collab? Tell people we're best friends! Oh, absolutely, let's do it. Yeah, that's my stream, I don't know you. This is my stream! I don't know you! Hello. The thing is you don't know what they will do sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, if I don't know somebody really well, I don't know how they're going to act on a collab. I don't know if they're going to come in and like say something that's going to like be really nasty or something like that. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly that, Yui. Anytime I bring someone on my channel, I am 100% responsible for anything they say or do. You want to wah 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 But yeah, that's why, that's actually, that's actually a big reason why, and like some smaller streamers get very upset about this. They get very upset that bigger streamers won't collab with them, but here's the thing. Hi, Baka, welcome by. You don't know them, and it's one of those things where you are responsible if anybody says anything on your channel. You are responsible for whatever is said, and Twitch will hold you accountable. And so it's one of those things where, and also it's the thing where like Twitter will hold you, let's be honest, Twitter's like hellscape. Um, Twitter is fucking hellscape. It's like Twitter will also hold you accountable for anything said on your stream. And so it's one of those things where if you want to say out a drama, the best thing, yeah, and I have more to lose than somebody who's just starting out. Like, I was talking to a streamer the other day that I look up to, and he goes, it's hard for me, he goes, he, he has a lot of people on his stream all the time, and like, he, he has a lot of people on his stream all the time, and he goes, he was talking about, he goes, I want to make sure I only bring on some people onto my stream that have something to lose, like, if they get cancelled, because he goes, because I have everything to lose if they come on my stream and say something that I'll get held accountable for. So he, he put it best. You want to only have people on your stream that will come on and have something to lose if they say something really problematic. Hi, Naruto. Welcome by. Like, that's the best way to put it. You, like, want to make sure that they, like, have at least something to lose and that they're not just come in and say anything that they want to. Yeah. You also want to bring people on who actually, like, understand how to interact and stuff, too. So, yeah. Like, you don't want to bring on somebody who's, like, never streamed before or anything. You don't want to bring on people who, like, if they get canceled, it's gonna hurt. 
Like, somebody who just, like, has just started and barely done anything, like, getting cancelled is, like, gonna suck, but it's, like, it's not gonna hurt that bad. You just re-roll the dice and, like, start a new Twitter, and it's no big deal. Like, you haven't really lost anything. Yeah, you also wanna, like, collab with people that you genuinely like, and if I don't know somebody, I'm not gonna collab with them, like, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, but like, yeah, I have nothing against smaller streamers. In fact, I love small streamers. Small streamers are fantastic. Like, I think small streamers probably make up at least like 10 to 20% of my audience, honestly. They're really awesome. I like them a lot. They're really cool. It's like when this supposed to be introduce someone to your friends and they say something crazy to your friends right out of the gate. Exactly! Exactly, Reckless. Exactly that. Exactly that. Was it like sucks to collab? I was actually supposed to collab with Nux not too long ago, but he wanted to collab while I was like planning to stream and I told him he'll have to ask me another time. He was like, he was like, can we record during this time? I'm like, that's normally when I start stream. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to stream. But it's really nice. Ooh. I wouldn't collab with someone I don't know no matter size. Beast of Kings, that's also a good way to put it. Do not collab with someone you do not know. Well, if it's a huge streamer reaching out to you, but you don't know them at all. Uh, I've literally told people that I want to get to know them some more before I collab with them. Or if that has happened. That has genuinely happened that I've literally told people, I'm like, let's get to know each other a bit more and then collab. It happens. Yeah. Hi, Paul Boyd. Welcome by. Welcome by. Thank you. Have a good one, chicken bed. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you. 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 But yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, you want to make sure you have good chemistry with somebody before you do collabs with them. How's it going to stream if they have a crap PC? Uh, probably don't want to play many games that take a lot of shit then. You probably want to mostly do just chatting and then like, uh, slowly build up towards saving up for a better PC. <laughs> it's almost like you have to know a person to trust them and have fun with them. Exactly! If I have somebody, literally, if I have somebody on my stream and I don't know anything about them, I'm just gonna be stressing out the whole time. You're so cute. Thank you. Hi, killer. Give me sure you know I hate science. Science! Would you collab with Mooney? God, I hate Neon Moonified. That fucking bitch. I would never fucking collab with them. I fucking hate that bitch. Fucking hate that bitch. She's the worst. Try to collab with people that I've talked to for a while? Absolutely! Absolutely! Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some popular games you don't need a good PC for? Yeah, exactly. Play those kind of games. Play those kind of games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, drama? Bruh, that me, I'm unified. Fucking hate that bitch. I hate her so much. She's the fucking worst, man. She's the fucking worst. I've already collabed with Cinnamon. Cinnamon's my buddy. I've collabed with Cinnamon multiple times. Cinnamon's one of my mods. I love that guy. He's great. So we ain't gonna collab with Victor someday. Someday it'll happen. Hi, Boomy. Where is the best I love? Where is pretty cool, I guess. I guess he's cool. God. He's okay, I guess. How would you get to know them? Uh, you just, you kind of get to know people over time. And it's also one of those things where sometimes you just Discord VC with them for a bit. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you just, uh, sometimes you just get to know them over time. Like, me and OB Katie Cat, we interacted for a while before we ever did a collab together. We just interact back and forth, we drop by each other's streams, we just like say hello, and that's kind of how we got to know each other too. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Collab where you both stream at the same time? You could do that. If a mod became a streamer and asked to collab, would you? Um, say it depends. It depends. Um, if me and the mod have a good have a good relationship and like, well, not even just a good relationship. It's also like we'd have to have chemistry too. You have to have chemistry with them too. It's one of those things where you can't just collab with anybody. Um, I've collabed with some of my mods, and there's some of my mods who stream who I haven't collabed with because I don't know if I have good stream chemistry with them. Yeah, you do. Literally, here's the thing. I'm streaming to entertain you guys, and so if it's not going to be an entertaining stream, then why would I do it? Hi, Baron. Welcome by. It's also- Hello. Technically, uh, Mooney have had a collab with chat. Yeah. All the four guys streams now. <laughs> Bye, Loxy. Have a good one. Yeah, Moon is big, stinky, and small. No, I'm just big. When Moon is collabing chat right now, yes. Makes me sad that you match your feelings just to push through streams. I get this is your job. Well, it's just one of those things where it's like, I just want to make sure streams are entertaining for chat to watch. The streams need to be entertaining. Streams need to be fun. I'd rather get to know people, but either I'm way too small, so I'd rather grow a bit before that or not worry about collabs. Literally, A, the best thing to do is to just keep on streaming. Just keep on streaming and just keep on making stuff. And like, uh, post clips of yourself and stuff like that. You don't even have to do full on editing. You can literally just like, you can literally just like, uh, you can just grab a clip off Twitch. I used to do this before I hired somebody to clip me. 
uh, and like do all that, uh, do all that stuff. Hey, it's Al. Welcome back. Before I, before I hired somebody to edit for me, I used to just literally grab clips off Twitch, make a quick thumbnail, and then post them. That's what I used to do, and that got me, that got me a few extra like uh, viewers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, now I post shorts and stuff, and Legal Rice edits for me and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, you can like just make, you can just like literally grab quick clips and just post them online. And like, uh, maybe you like wish on luck to like hit some algorithm. That's what you wish for. Like literally every single clip I post now is like just wish, just throwing it in there and wishing on luck to hit the algorithm. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Hi, Kree Spire. Welcome by. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, you fuck. Cinnamon. Cinnamon clown. Cinnamon. Moon. Cinnamon clown. Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you. Hi! It's a lot of luck. You no, know, and I, that's what streaming is also. Streaming is a lot of luck. I know a lot of people who have big followings other places and they jumped into streaming and they can barely even get like, and 20 viewers is a lot. But like some of these people have like 100K followers other places and they can barely get 20 people in their streams. And it's one of those things where streaming is a lot of luck. It's also consistency. It's also personality based, but a lot of it is luck too. Like if you don't, if you don't like, it's one of those things where it's like you, it's the breaks. And it's like, you might get lucky and just hit all the right shit. You might get unlucky. You might even, you might even get unlucky while hitting the right shit. And it just is one of those things where it's like, it just doesn't go through just cause like that wasn't your time or something like that. It just sucks. Streaming is rough. It's one of those things where like, and it's one of those things too. Once you make it, there's a lot of streamers I know who did really good for a while. And then they just didn't change with the times and people just stopped showing up and like they, they just, they just fell off and it happens. It's one of those things where, is it a good idea to turn off your account? Yes. Yes. It's honestly one of the best things I could suggest. It's just one of those things where you gotta stream for the love of it. I watch your videos for a while, so it's weird hearing you just talking to screen while yours. Don't worry, Zane! It'll happen eventually! We're just having real talk right now. We're having real talk, beach. Yeah. Just put a perspective, I think only 1% of all Twitch streamers have 10 or more average followers. Yes, exactly. As will change with the times. I don't know, Phantom. I'm worried about that when the time comes. Well, I'll worry. I, I'm gonna have to worry about that when my time comes. Like that's something I'm gonna have to worry about at some point. I don't know. I don't know. You just like uh, if your audience adjusts, you gotta learn how to adjust with them. Yeah, real talk is a vibe. Ease. Ease. How does the rule be? Yeah, you gotta enjoy what you're doing, or else what you're going is gonna be crap. Exactly. The streamer I enjoy, but it feels like time has moved on without them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mooney will never fall off ah. since chat is her content for the most parts and we always chance things Fuck her! <laughs> you wanna meow? Meow 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 Just keep updating the new parts sounds you'll be fine If you have any superpower what would be To go back in time and fix any mistakes I make Yes But But That'd be my superpower bitch be my superpower, bitch. If I drop my pancake in the floor, just reverse back time by five minutes. Fucking yeah, I won't drop my pancake now, bitch. You wanna, you wanna see my pancake at the floor? It's not gonna happen. You're never gonna see a pancake hit the floor around me again, bitch. A pancake's never gonna hit the floor around me again. I'm gonna fucking save every single pancake with my superpower. I literally just waste it. Hi, C Rocks. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Hello. Hi, chat. I love hanging out with you. Peace. Yes, 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 Thank you for hanging out with me. I've been having fun. Ba 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 Hi chat! Thank you for being here. I still have super speed to catch it before it falls. Uh, cause that would require me moving really fast and turning back time. I don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, hello. Hi chat. Hi chat. Hi chat. Hi chat. Hi. Hi. Hi! Hi. Hello. Hello, fuckers. <gasps> I said a bad word, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said a bad word. 
I said a bad word, chat! I said a bad word! No! I miss you guys too, thank you, thank you. Hello. I test like Shopper Eliminate. Oh, let's go! Fuck yeah, Drake Piss! Fuck yeah! Cancel speed run by Mooney. I said fuck. I'm sorry, chat. Can you forgive me? I said the fuck word. I'm not putting money in the fucking swear jar, bitch! I said so many bad words. In my Christian Minecraft server. I'm sorry, DMX. I've been a bad, bad boy. I've been a bad, bad boy. Oh well. I'm like 8% chat by something like that. Oh, that's awesome. Honestly, honestly, the people who are around when you're really small mean so much to you. It's so awesome. Wait, I need to drink this. Mm. <sighs> Hello. Hello, fuckers. Hi. Baby shitters. Baby shitters. Let's go, beach. Let's go. Hello, fuckers. I'm watching you stream while doing a scoreboard baseball game before I go on fire. Oh, let's go. Do not watch my mouth. That was so... I am a good grill. Okay? I am a good grill. I'm a good grill. I don't deserve the mouthwash. Beesh. I don't deserve the mouthwash, beesh. Cold of Mooney. There's no cold. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Thank you, Puffin. Trying to retire early off a search off. Fuck. Shit. Crap. Crap again. Big crap. Big crap in the pants. Crap, 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 crap. Grill, grill, grill. I, I make this steak so evenly. I make them so fucking evenly. Yes. I blah, 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 blah. Hello. Hi, Mooney Thick Hi. Me, your only subscriber. Oh, God. For months, I have Why? created the only son that you Why? have found to subscribe. Why? But he is Why? the truth. All the, the subscribers in the Xat Army. And now, mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. you to be convinced of Sith, I will send Sith messages ah! from all my accounts. Guys, I think I'm about to end stream. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rest up for a bit. Guys, have we raided Honey Goblin recently? She's so nice. She's so nice. Have we raided Honey Goblin recently? I don't think we have. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will check my laundry. I promise. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I adore you guys so much. You guys are the best fucking chat in the entire fucking world. Literally the best chat in the whole world. I adore you guys so much. I adore you guys so fucking much. You guys are the best. Guys, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited for stream tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow. 7 a.m. PST should be going live. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you so much. You guys are the best chat in the whole world. You guys make me feel so special. You guys never fail to make me feel so special every day that I stream. Guys, thank you again for hanging out with me. I did not say a bad word. Okay, I did say a bad word. I said fuck. Guys, I adore you guys so fucking much. Thank you for hanging out with me. We'll be playing a game tomorrow. Hi, Chase Gamer. We'll be playing a game tomorrow instead of just hanging out the whole time. So we'll play a game. It'll be fun. Hi, Wilson. Welcome back. You're wonderful. Person. You're wonderful. Guys, please be nice to Honey. Send her lots of love. She's fucking fantastic. She's incredible. She's so sweet. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I, You guys literally are one of the best parts of my day. One of the best parts of my day is getting to spend time with you guys. And just thank you so much just for hanging out with me. Okay, I'm going to stop assaulting y'all with love. And now I'm gonna assault you with a raid. Goodbye!